start streaming. <laughs> yeah, just like me with the tarantulas. Yeah, you gotta face your fears and spawn on the island of tarantulas. Yeah, I caught 16 tarantulas before I like stopped crying. So that's not that bad. 16 is like I mean, you still caught 16 tarantulas, you know? Yeah. It could have been. And I made like I made like 120,000 bells. So wait, tarantulas worth that much money? Yeah, tarantulas sell for 8,000 bells a pop. Damn, son. So. I guess it's because they're a little bit of a more of a task to catch. But how much you wasp sell for? Wasp sell for. Oh, uh, you know what? I sold one today. Uh, I shouldn't know this. Um, they sell for like okay. They're not like too bad. I just know that tarantulas are like sell for like a, a metric shit ton of money. So. Well, all right, we're out here today uh, doing another Mario Kart stream. Things are uh, kind of started, but kind of not. I'm going to get the bracket up for you guys who are watching right now um, or checking out the YouTube VOD because this is uh, officially brand new YouTube content from us as we kind of work through it. Uh, these Mario Kart tournaments have been thrown by uh, a good friend of ours from Smash Brothers for years now, uh, and that's Glentendo, at Super Glentendo on Twitter, who's just been organizing tournaments and Getting really good traction. Uh, Koopa, there was two people entered from France on Sunday, and apparently there's two teams of three for from France today in this bracket for the team's races. How about that? Look at that. Yeah, I was... That's, like, pretty cool, man. That means it's, like, the waves out there, and, and everyone loves Mario Kart, but it's just, like, the fact that it was a port on the Switch is just kind of what, like, no one cares after that because everyone played the game on, on the Wii U who was going to play it. I said everyone as if the Wii U sold a lot of like, units, but... <laughs> um, but in either case, like, you know, it, it, it's not like this is a new game, is what I'm getting at, but people like the series. So people are coming out for it, apparently. Yeah, Mario Kart's pretty timeless. Like, it's one of those things where, like, you can... It's, there's, like, an episode of Ed and Eddie where everybody goes through fads, like, multiple times an episode. So I feel like Mario <laughs> Kart goes through, like like highs and, and lows and renaissance all the time where people want to play the game again. Yeah, it's uh, super interesting to me because here's a bracket that is, it's open to everyone by the way, so if you guys are interested in what you're seeing on the screen, which is not that interesting because it's just a, it's a bracket website, but these are, this is a 3v3 tournament, uh, just like free-for-all races and, and I think the totals are basically what adds up to, for who wins, just like it would if you were just playing on your own, but as you can see here, uh, we have 13 teams, so times three, that's 39 people in this bracket. Um, this is like pretty new. I think this is the second week he's done a Tuesday weekly. These guys are these guys are grinding on the on the daily. I'm saying. Yeah, it's crazy. So as you guys can see here, the formula is basically this. We have screen shares from everyone who we can get to stream their run of it. So because Mario Kart does not have a spectator mode at all. Uh, it's it's literally just a port from Wii U. It's just, it's just standard old Mario Kart. They're, they probably weren't anticipating anyone wanting to actually do this, but it does have a tournament mode, <laughs> which is helpful, and that's what Glenn uses. So what happens is, is you put in a tournament code, and you're entered into the bracket. So what I've been trying to do is, some of the local guys that we know from Smash Brothers, uh, like on the screen right now, if, if you're familiar with Master and Gaming's channel, you've probably seen Kooky Coogs on the top left there. You've probably seen Lemon Tea on the bottom right. Uh, Biddy's on the bottom left, but his, his uh, screen is asleep because I think they're waiting for a set. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so these are all guys that kind of stream their own thing. So the idea is to essentially try and kind of like advertise their streams while giving a perspective for as if there was a spectator mode. Because there isn't one. Yeah, I'm one of Mario Kart's fatal flaws. Which is... It's a lot of Nintendo games uh, flaws because the thing is, is like even Splatoon, that's a game that they want to be competitive and it doesn't have spectator mode, but setting up an actual like lobby and team speak and all that is, is kind of difficult. Yeah, it's like logistically it's very difficult. So like, yeah. that's why it's just kind of a chore to put together. So. And I don't know if that's available online. I don't know if you can do Splatoon um, like spectator mode online or not. Um, I don't quote me. I'm not exactly sure myself, so. I've never tried. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front. I've never tried that at all, but I have played Splatoon Online quite a bit when it first came out, and I did love it. So I, I kind of think, I wonder if there's something we can do with that moving forward in terms of Splatoon tournaments, but this whole thing is very reliant on people who are looking to stream, basically. Like, like if, yeah. if, 
Like, if you want to start a channel, even if you don't want to, but you want to be a part of, like, say, this stream where we're putting streams together side by side by side by side, um, then, then yeah, th this is what you would do to get there. Because, like, right now we could watch Kugi, who I think is just kind of messing with speed trials. Because um, he's just sitting there. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just hanging. He, and he's been, just... he's been running through. It's funny, we're like, it's like, this is a... <laughs> What's that, uh, what's that book, 1984? Like, we're, we're, <laughs> where, where you're watching everybody's things. Yeah, we're, we're, we're big brother in this, in this situation. Hey, man, I, someone's got to be the big brother around here. <laughs> I, you know, it, might, it may as well be Master Hands, right? Um, you know, speaking of big brother, did I tell you the big brother story on the podcast? I forget if I did or not. Uh, I don't believe so. Yes, yeah, so there was a, uh, so are, are you familiar with the TV series Big Brother? Yeah, of course. Yeah, they're uh, so they're they were filming a season of it in Germany since like the first week of February, and these people have been you know the, the gimmick of, of Big Brother is obviously that you're in self isolation for basically it was self quarantining before it was cool, <laughs> um, and so people like to have like no access to the outside world unless there's like um, you know unless uh, like something like crazy happens so these people have been in quarantine for so long they had no idea what was happening with like the coronavirus and oh everything. god so like they wait from the to, actual like, show this happens yeah like these people had like <laughs> they had to tell them like live what was happening so, Ooh, like, hey, so this like, is the awkward look a little bit different wow how about that i had no idea that was even like a thing like that yeah dude it was crazy it was like a big news story wow yeah not much of a big brother uh aficionado um but yeah i heard that show was pretty good or yeah, I I just yeah. I mean, for anyone unaware, yeah, it is. It's basically modeled off the dystopian future that we're like kind of sort of getting a glimpse at right now um, of, of of everything you just described. It's very ironic that 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 actually happened. As I think about it, the layers of that are a lot, a yeah, lot of layers it's, to that. It's pretty. It's pretty. <laughs> um, it's making making my brain hurt. Um, yeah, um, I've personally always been a, I've, you know, anyone that knows me knows that I'm uh, more of a survivor buff of my reality show of choice. But Big yeah, we, we we do know you to be a survivor buff. That is very true. Yeah, I kind of um, wish I didn't watch every season, because um, now I have it. It, it would have made a gr it makes a great quarantine show. So, <laughs> dude, I uh, so for anyone just tuning in, we're we're basically waiting for. All of these people to start playing um, right now. Kugi Kugi is doing time trials, but what's going to be happening is exactly what you're looking at. Um, we're getting screen shares from people's streams who are entered in bracket, and we are going to show you as many perspectives as we can as we get through this circuit here. And it is a circuit. There is a Smash GG, um, which is going to be linked. Uh, I, I think I already linked it. Oh, no, My I didn't. favorite thing happening on stream right now is that uh, Lemon T has us on his stream. So dude, it's so perfect. It, this is it's, it's Lemon Tception. Dude, this is <laughs> <laughs> so good, dude. <laughs> That's funny. He just keeps going on in the background. Oh my! Yeah, God. this is this is uh, the content we came to see. This <laughs> is the, the, very much a, a work in progress, by the way, as, as, as if you guys could not tell. Um, yeah, you know, there we go. Hi, here we'll, we'll, we'll wave. We'll wave to to Lemon T. Hi, Lemon T. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> he, probably, he probably hasn't muted. This is what's funny. He definitely has no idea what's. Yeah, he's like, I don't know. He's just waving. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking weird. I was just waving at. Yeah, me. this is this is an interesting time for us. Uh, just like trying to, oh my god, he does keep going. Look at the screen. Look at the screens, dude. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because this is this is interesting, right? So there was obviously still going to be Smash stuff. Uh, working on first of all, the incentive for online Smash tournaments is tough uh, because we've already established something that has like rankings and stuff, and people really care about it. But when you go online, it's like a different game, so you can't really like do that. So now it's just like, okay, how do you get people to enter just for the fun of it? And then people are like, I hate Wi-Fi. Yeah, there's got to be, like, an incentive to draw people to want to do it. So it's either, like, money or, like, pride. And you can only really provide one. Dude, this is... 
<laughs> I'm looking at the inception we have going on. Uh, you're, see, you're seeing a lot of you're seeing a lot of us because uh, I have I currently have Lemon T's stream on screen share, who currently has my stream on screen share. So what you're seeing is all the mirrored effects of that. So this it's just so like. Funny. I feel like I'm in like looking at like in a mirror in a pizzeria. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly like that. Oh gosh. Well, yeah. I don't. I'm. I'm. I was told this started already, um, and it just hasn't. Uh, I'm gonna ask. Where's Where's Commissioner Tendo? Oh, I just stepped on a cricket. Is that a bug I don't have? Not as a tiger beetle. Chat, if you're playing, uh, if if you're playing uh, Animal Crossing, th tell me what villagers you guys got. I'm pretty, I'm pretty souped with the collection of villagers that I have working right now. Uh, dude, uh, this is this is a sad story. I'm about to, I'm about to display for everyone. So as <clears throat> we could all share this heartbreak, as we look at everybody DQ'd from the bracket. Oh no! Scratch everything we said. World's going to hell. No one wants to play. I'm just joking. What's up? <laughs> oh, I see Fortnite legend uh, Cubel entered with Biddy and, and Steven. You know what will be nice, though? It'll be nice when these guys start to... This, this is going to be good. Uh, when, when these guys actually do narrow down to, like, winner's semis, this area here. Or even, honestly, winner's quarters. When a couple matches, it's going to be good. Because we have Kooky on screen share. We have Lemon Tea on screen share. So it's like we get, like, head-to-head -head on that. Uh, and Boosk. We also have Boosk on screen share. Um, yes, sir. And then what else we got? Um, we'll have Biddy on screen share. Um, these guys who... Anyone? I don't think these anyone there is streaming. Yeah, uh, we're going to have to be patient. That's all. Perhaps yeah, it started yeah. prematurely, or perhaps this is all just a ploy to talk to, talk to the six people watching. Yeah, shout out to all six of the people that are that are hanging out with us. Oh, right it now. does it does look like uh, Lemon Tea is about to start racing. So we'll, we'll check that out, and I'll see what other things we could get here because I do have several other screens to share. I just got to look through them now. It is at least fun to like hear another person's voice right now. So. Yeah, I mean it's okay. I see. We got uh, no, Kugi's still time trialing. I don't know if his team's playing yet. Yeah, I don't think they are. I didn't look closely enough at bracket, but. Uh, we do have Lemon Tea, so I'll probably just full screen him in the meantime because uh, because we can. So here we go. Lemon Tea's stream. Yeah, buddy. And Lemon Tea's actually pretty good at this game. He, um, he's been basically, I think he's also like a newish comer to Mario Kart, at least this one. And he's still like consistently finishing like pretty well. Like you'll see him take races. He Okay. He's kind of like bipolar in the results, right? Because you'll see him get first, you'll see him get second, and then there's days where he just got, or races where he just kind of gets like wiped, and he's like finishing seventh sure. or worse. The classic Mario Kart uh, problem. This is a stage that was in another Mario Kart game too, correct? Oh yeah, so pretty much all of eight, uh, uh, not all of eight, but a lot of eight. Like just half like, of the tracks are just throwback tracks. Well, which is I guess a, that's true of all Mario Karts, because right there's there's always like the four cups that they do, where there's four races per that's unique to the game, and then they have another four cups that are like previous games things, and then they just add like the new games mechanics. So for example, in this game, like they put like uh, Wario Stadium, and there's all these different races. Uh, What's it called? Uh, like, jeez, uh, man. Is Coconut Mall in this game? I think it might be. Like, stuff like that, like, that have been in past games, and then they kind of give it, like, new life. Right. So, uh, we're watching Lemon T kind of hold it down at first place. He's got, actually, a really big lead. And I don't, can't tell how many people are in this race. I guess it's the full lobby. Because what they do with the, with the uh, normal circuit is you could race against bots. So there's a time frame for you to race, and then, like, for example, on Sunday, the tournament started at 7 o'clock p.m., and basically it went till 10 was how long the tournament lobby is open. So you could either start at 7 and just knock out your races and you're done like you're supposed to, or you basically wait and then you just get put with a bunch of bots because it'll, it'll just put you in races like with bots and stuff. 
Which is interesting, because you could definitely just go and farm bots later on. Right. You know what I mean? All right, yeah. so... Okay, so this was... This does look like it was... Uh, uh, what do you call it? A limited race, because it looked like there was just, like, five people in there. And I think I just saw, like, a couple flags on Switzerland's? Am I, I'm, I'm, I, there was a couple flags there that were not American flags. Did you see that? Oh, yeah, that's like a Swiss. Is that a Swiss flag? I, I wasn't sure. I'm, I'm really bad at this, and this is where my being, like, aggressively American comes in to haunt me, but... I mean, you have a math degree, not a, not a geography degree, so... <laughs> that's true. But, I mean, knowing other, other people's flags would be good. Um, probably. I think that's Switzerland, so. I think so, too. I don't know who else has, like, our... our yeah, I don't know. I just, I know it's red and white, but anyways. This is a very easy <laughs> solution to this without totally exposing myself, and I'm going to do it right now. Uh, do you don't know? worry, Chris. I don't think you're an Oh, guess, American. guess what? I was right on the first guess. How was, about that? It was definitely Switzerland. Let's end the circuit worldwide. Dude, this is this is a worldwide tournament, man. We had French players, we got Lemon Tea players, uh, still the only active streamer at the moment. And if you are just joining <laughs> us, uh, make sure that if if you're into this and you have the means to stream it, uh, go for it because we'll be able to share it. And let's just say you're racing at the same time as Lemon Tea right now and streaming, uh, I could show both of your races and we get that whole perspective, which adds a ton to the experience. But in the meanwhile. Here we are, uh, Lemon Tea sitting in fifth place currently with two Switz uh, Switzerland men ahead of him. And I believe I also saw Mesa in this, who is uh, formerly Gota. That's a throwback for anyone in here who might remember that name from the stream. Yes. And yeah, former yes, Master Hand guy. And uh, we also have Boosk, I believe. Yeah, that would make sense because they're on the same team. Because Lemon Tea's team consists of. As I look at the bracket, yeah, those are those are his teammates, and then they're playing against uh, a Sanua, Jan Watts, and Cosma, who are the the boys from Switzerland. How about that? Yeah, that's actually really cool. Because um, as I mentioned to you earlier, there was some French presence the other day, um, which is really pretty neat. So now now we have uh, three different countries. So Lemon T looking pretty good. And I don't know if those are the boys ahead of him. No, I think that's uh, the other team ahead of him uh, at yeah, first and second, I so. if, if I caught it before. Yes, okay. So there's Snoo... Uh, what's what's your guess on how to say that? Snoo... Sna Snawa? Snoa? Snoa? Yeah, let's go with that. All right, well, Blue Shell just passing Lemon T. Yeah, Lewis about to get a break here. Oh, red first shell. place by the way is very far ahead, and I believe that's uh, Jan Watts. If yes, it is, it is yes. Jan Watts, and he did get hit by the blue shell, but still had enough time to remain in first. With his teammate not too far behind, there we go. Uh, Jan Watts finally getting dethroned from his first. Um, Snowa hanging in second there. I did not catch who's in first. Uh, it's either the other man uh, from Switzerland or one of Lemon T's boys. It's not clear. I don't know who's playing Villager, but Villager. Yeah, I can. Oh, okay. Ooh. So, yeah, Villager had already won, and that was the things in the way. Oh, that was Boosk. That's right. Nice. Boosk, Boosk mains Villager. I love that. I love this course, by the way. This is in the Mario Kart 7, I believe. Yes. Very fun, tra very fun track. What for so I want to check in on the other guys here. So we see Biddy still waiting in lobby on the bottom left there. Um, and his next match is against some teams that I'm just unfamiliar with. And I might surmise that maybe this is one of the French teams uh, because they're waiting for the winner of Brother Quang Chives Bigwig versus Hotch and Z and Tunist. Um, and Tunist, someone you guys know. So we'll see. Who prevails there, and the winner will play Biddy there and and, and Co. Yes, sir. Um, so in the meanwhile, I guess we could watch Kooky Kooks, who's also waiting. Uh, Kooky Kooks is on Team Glenn. He's he's a he's a Glenn friendo today. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is interesting. So after, and we'll we'll see what happens here. This is this is kind of big for us because if if Lemon T's team does not 
does not win here, we lose a perspective. <laughs> because it's going to be a, a Glenn's team, which is Glenn Coogie, uh, who we do have on screen share. And who's that other? Oh, Charlie the King. That's got to be. Yes. Yep. Okay. So those guys versus the winner of, of what we're watching right now. So Lemon T's match actually kind of a, a big deal right now. Also very appropriate that you have uh, the songs matching with the chords right now. Pretty amazing. That was not on purpose, by the way. This is just. I love, I love this uh, course, by the way. It's this is a good favorite. course. This is probably one of my favorite courses personally in the game. Um, Any, anything that breaks into Gusty Garden Galaxy, good with me. Absolutely. Uh, and there is, like, this, this shortcut that Lemon T is about to take is, it's very doable, but you can screw it up. It, you definitely yeah, can screw hard. that one up. It's 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 a it's a really like tight turn because you're also coming off. You don't have a lot of like wiggle room to work with because Whoa. you're coming off of the uh, off of the ramp. So well, just this just didn't miss a taken first, uh, buzzing right past a wobbly lemon tea. But don't worry, boost in second. The boys taking top three at the moment. Um, we'll see if Team Switzerland finds their footing, and I'm guessing that they might because the last I think the last game was kind of similar, except for boost just like I guess blowing the doors off everyone yeah it's weird this is one of those courses where i feel like the shortcuts really aren't worth it because like you can lose so much time because because of how like precise the the area you have to work with is all right so final lap and the boys in one two and three Yeah, looking good right now. Yeah, LMT taking the shortcuts. And actually, I'm not sure. Actually, no, I think uh, one of the other team uh, it might be in first place here because I'm not sure who's playing Pink Gold's Peach. But I see Boosk and LMT in third and fourth. I see Jan Watts in second-ish. Uh... Well, we already established that if, if – okay, that's probably the other guy on the team. Yeah, I, I think so. I'm not sure what happened. We already established that Boosk and, and Goat are playing Donkey Kong and Villagers. Yes. So. All right, well, there we go. That's uh, – oh, who is that in first? Oh, no, who was that? Okay, wait, who was Pinkle Peach? I couldn't see that. I couldn't see that either because because the the overlay was over it. But uh, I'm gonna guess that it was either as I'm, I'm checking out bracket right now. It wasn't Jan Watts because I believe he finished in like second or third or whatever. Um, it could have been one of his teammates who was Snow uh, Snowa and Cosma. Maybe it was Cosma. It's possible. Interesting. Yeah, and I know Boosk was supposed to stream this, so um, I think he was lagging. That's Okay, okay. Are these the current standings? So from what I saw from the standings just now, it looks like uh, I didn't see which uh, Team Switzerland guy was on top, but he was basically the point leader, and then the midsection was essentially like Lemon T, Boosk, and well, Mesa. America. Yeah. And then a little bit of a laggy leg for Switzerland. Uh, I think it had five points, but either way, it looks like a close all in all, and it does look like this last race is probably going to determine who moves forward to play against Team Glenn. If I could go on a limb, I'd say this is probably the best Bowser's Castle in Mario Kart. Agreed. Uh, I d oh, boy. That made me nervous. I thought I was going to get punched. But uh, the cool yeah, part about this is there's a lot of places to catch those jumps, like in those sections where the big Lava Bowser punches the ground. You can get an extra speed burst if you hop at the right time, which is always really helpful. Yeah, oh, boy. Boosk almost sabotaged his teammate there. Yeah, he hates Oh, it. be careful. I think these guys are, are too used to playing this, the you know, every man for themselves. <laughs> Regardless, uh, Lemon T taking a very strong position in first here with, I'm guessing that is, yeah, okay, that's Boost Great behind him. And I'm not sure This course is very favorable um, for, like, the type of layout that Lemon T's going for with his, like, car character and cart layout. Yeah, really good at taking the turns and 
and essentially taking advantage of all those opportunities to power slide and get like the big power slides, not just like the, the single ones. There we go. Yep, get the purple sparks. Yeah. And Lemon Tea moving right now. Looks like he's pulling away. I can't tell if there's someone on him or not. No, I think he's just very far ahead with uh, Mesa in second. And yeah, so this is this is kind of what it's looked like. It looks like kind of like um that that like midsection is very unpredictable, but then the top parts, okay, there we go, Lemon Tea getting the jump are a little bit more distinctive and it seems like it goes per race. So there's either like Switzerland's top guy getting first or it's Lemon Tea or Boost getting first. Oh yeah, he's way far ahead. Yeah, right he's now. he's big chilling. Uh, oh. Luckily, he made that jump before getting shocked by lightning. You could see that both Boosk and Mesa got hit by that lightning because they were right over the big gap on the map. So we'll see if they continue second and third. It does look like that. Although there's two stars coming from Team Switzerland, who may have pulled ahead, but did not. Okay, so there we go. That's a sweep for Lemon T's team, who will then go on to play Team Glenn, and that was the final race. So. Luckily for us, for for this particular day, we get to see the head-to-head. -head. Also, yeah, Pink Old Peach was uh, Goda. <laughs> oh, it was Goda. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yes, yeah, Snowa was, was DK. So, well done by everyone involved. Uh, Goda holding it down, keeping off uh, team from Switzerland from from making any middle ground surgeons. So, all right. So, that, so that was that. So, I'm going to guess these guys are... Gonna all get started here, and right now we are going to see Glenn, who we don't have on screen share, Kugi Kooks, who's on Glenn's team, who we do have on screen share, and what was that last name? Oh yeah, Charlie the King, who I don't think is streaming, but he does have a stream. Poggers. Very Poggers indeed. Alright, so yeah, looks like everyone's getting set up here. Um, I don't know if Biddy's game is about to go off. It seems very possible because it looks like he's getting ready to connect. And Fortnite legend Kubel on Biddy's team along with Corona 17, not Corona 19. Uh, also on their team. Going by Steven these days and can't blame him. Sorry, I was on the thing with my phone on. All right, so you know what? Why don't we go ahead, because because we have the time here, on to kick it over the bracket, check out what's going on here. Um, assuming that Glenn has... Okay, it is updated already. So here we are. This is where we're going to be seeing most of, because this is where the most active streamers are. Uh, so we get Coogs and Lemon Tea actively streaming. Uh, Boosk's stream, I think, was not working. Uh, Winner will play this bunch of people here. Um... AT46, some call me Blue and King. <laughs> and on the bottom here is some names that we are familiar with. KGP Sinatra and Maverick Hunter getting uh Gang gang. Getting the bracket that has the <laughs> DQs, but hey man, we take those. Alright, so this is a good. Bankai, so a Bankai bracket if I've ever seen one. I, dude, absolutely. So we're gonna get a little bit of each winner's quarterfinals here. Um going right now. And I'll probably start us with the head-to-head -head because that seems to be the most interesting, or will be the most interesting, which will have Lemon Tea, who we just saw, along with Kooky Kooks. Let us see. Hello, ladies. Hello, everybody. Oh, hello. It's Glenn. Well, Yo, so let me address some stuff real quick if, if we have the time for it. Oh, do, yeah, do we have the time for it? <laughs> do we have the time? So, we, as you guys can see, there's a million DQs, and that is simply because people cannot follow instructions. So, they didn't check in, and Smash GG just automatically DQs people who no. don't check in. So, you would think that, you know, this is a double elimination bracket, it's very familiar to Smashers. And that was still too confusing for most masters. So, <laughs> oh so man, my my team had a buy because it was me, Charlie, and Kuki were first seed, being that like we're the only team of three consistent top eighters. So I felt like we deserved to be uh, the first seed. Sure. And so we had a buy, and our round one took so long that Charlie had to go. 
And so now we're about to be DQ'd. So I'm about to be DQ'd from my own tournament. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my, my how, god, dude. Be, but hopefully uh you you have lemon tea's um stream i'm assuming and boost yeah i have lemon tea and i think this is boost this is, oh wait no this i got biddy right now i think boost's stream was not working maybe yeah i mean lemon tea's on his team so that's i guess that's good enough but... yeah it works out uh it's yeah. definitely okay unless oh no okay boost is live we got boost nice all, all right, right so we'll do our best here i mean in the future we're, we're not going to run a double elimination bracket. We'll just go back to the old format because uh, I just did this as a request from the community and they really wanted to just do like a, a 3v3 team where it wasn't this big thing like it was last time. Right. Like the normal thing we do. And right. clearly it's just, it's so hard to organize this. Like I can't tell you how many people DM me at like 15 minutes ago saying, oh, is it too late to register? It's oh, like, God. yeah, it says like 6.5. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it is too late. late. <laughs> Well, you know what the good news is, though? We're figuring this stuff out now, and there's obviously people interested. So the fact that yeah, there's and, that... And to be fair, like, we still, have, uh, we still have two really good teams that are in that we're going to watch. Um, and so that's going to be fun. And also, like, again, you know, there's no blueprint for this. So it's really exciting for us to see how to figure out and navigate these crazy waves and, like, just uh, go into uncharted territory. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm with you on that. I... I'm pretty excited for this. I think the biggest thing is going to be appealing to people who stream and also want to do this. Um, because that, that's what makes this stream, basically. Um, yep. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. I, honestly, like, there's a lot of people that are, are DMing me like, hey, man, what's going on? I'm like, dude, I, honestly, I'm cool with everything. Like, this is going to be fun regardless. I mean, it sucks. I'm not going to get to play. But, you know, <laughs> yeah. that's just... That's just the way it is. Well, I'm, we'll I'm, I'm, I am confused. So I see you in bracket here in winners quarterfinals against Lemon T's team. So how does that work yes. with you getting DQ'd? Exactly? So we're about to be DQ'd because one of our teammates had to leave, and so we're just we have to wait for the automatic DQ clock, which is uh, it should be up now. Ah, yeah, growing pains. It's, it's what happens. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't I don't blame him. I mean, one of my teammates had to go, and he's like, dude, it's been 45 minutes, and like. You know, Lemon T's group got a slow start there, so it took us a while. Oh my God, it DQ'd them too. That's so funny. <laughs> Te what technically, you moved on, Glenn. Oh my Lord. For, for anyone wondering, yeah, there there we have it. So all right, yeah. So barring some some bracket fixes, uh, yeah. I th I think this could be a lot of fun personally. Oh, it, it's gonna be fun for regardless, but yeah, it's it's so funny the way this is breaking down. So, are you guys are you guys playing out through losers then? Um, or are you just you're just down a team? I, mean, I, I guess they. You know what's funny? I guess Lemon T and his team didn't check in, and both of us got DQ. <laughs> what the I'm like, fuck? Dude, we were just talking about this. <laughs> this is so funny. This is insane. Well, it's no problem because I mean we have a uh, right now on the screen is Biddy and the awesome Michael. So there's, there's still people playing. And yeah, I do thank think God for Biddy, man. Biddy is like the, the 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 wingman. Like I don't have to tell him or explain anything to him. He's right there and he's got it and he's helping everybody else out. He's kind of moving right now too. Uh, yeah, Biddy's good. Yeah, Biddy Biddy is definitely good. Um, I'm gonna get Biddy on the screen now since it's see it's funny like Biddy is always like the gold standard. Always, dude. Biddy holds it down. Look look at him in third place right now. He's got that red shell handy. People stay roasting Biddy, but he stays being the most responsible human being I've ever I've ever met. Yeah, we definitely stand Biddy, man. All right, well, given all these very interesting revelations, uh, we'll do our best. We're, we're basically just hanging here. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys, and yeah, we're just gonna you know play it by ear, and it, this is the we can we can attribute this to the randomness of Mario Kart in general. <laughs> it's, it's unpredictable. This is an extension of the randomness of Mario Kart. It's unpredictable until it gets more predictable, which, you know, coming soon. That freeze frame on busy on Biddy screen was great for a second, but <laughs> just DK <laughs> looking so back funny. with his hand, with his hand extended. <laughs> a handshake, if you may. If if you may. All right. So Lemon T in the it, currently in the chat, very confused as to what happened. Uh, yeah, I see Glenn responding to him in the Discord. I could act, I could definitely appreciate a time like this where like we're just like figuring it out because this is how these things start, man. Because when this thing is like an extra boss, the chaos it, of Mario Kart it brings chaos in the game and out of the game. 
Damn, dude, Biddy just got this bracket got got lightning and blue shelled all at once. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I was I was first seed and I got blue shelled in the in the MTQ. <laughs> There's nothing that feels worse than when Mario Kart like triples down on you and like you get hit by everything. Yeah, so that's what happened to to, to the stream today and to the tournament rather. But hey, man, it's definitely gonna be okay. Um, the the format's there. Uh, it, it's ready to go. Honestly, we needed more people streaming anyways. Uh, if, if I may be frank, and that and that's something that I'm gonna do a better job of. I'm gonna do a better job of like trying to get people during the week or be like, hey, if you're interested in doing the thing, yeah, and do it. But in the meantime, we're gonna watch Biddy. Um, this is the third race, and from the last race, it looked like they were kind of getting mollywopped a little bit. Um, it looks like Hotch, Enzine, and Tunist actually doing pretty good. Oh, I'm pretty sure NZ is Kavorki, and I want to say that's Kavorki. Oh, is it? Well, because Nick Kavorkian's name is Nicholas Zonak. So. Oh, then that would certainly make sense. There's a strong and also bet whatever money the government's not paying me that that's Kavorkian. <laughs> yet that they're not paying you yet, and I think you're right because I think yeah, it said yeah. Nicholas something uh, on the on the from what I can see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's him. Also, guys, I just want to say thank you for all the follows while we're in this in this. Uh, I don't want to call it a mess, but a little bit of confusion. So I do appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, and it's, like I said, th this is this is very much a a, a working formula that that is going to be brand new for us. So. Yeah, Mario Kart pandemic. <laughs> pandemic. You guys didn't ask for it. You got it. It's good though. I actually, I was Glenn, I was talking to to Koopa a little earlier before we started about how like this game has just been dead and then you just look like and you sing single-handedly came in to revive it and that was just oh, kind of funny <laughs> it's so funny yeah i mean it's also the uh you know it was a great window of time because i feel like smash ultimate has been out for long enough now where some people feel like they need a break um uh, from the game and so um it kind of, there was a window of where people just wanted to play something else and then all of a sudden the pandemic hits and people can't leave their house and we have a great free tournament that you can enter from home and everyone has this game so it just it's like the stars aligned you I, know, I got, I got the a shell on the lightning all I, at once <laughs> I, I gotta hand it to you I, I couldn't really agree more and I think that people not even just being tired of smash just like anyone who's maybe grinding out the game and just like you know like I want to play something else with people that isn't this Although I guess I falls in the realm of being tired, but the, the, the reality is it's just like people are more open to do other things now, even if they're not new things. Because a lot of times you always see like a new game boom and everyone's like, oh, this game is new, so I'm going to start streaming, or I'm going to start doing this, that, the other thing. But you're right. Everyone already owns Mario Kart. Like, yeah, oh my God, I mean, it's the best-selling game on the Switch. Is it still? Yeah, number one. And it's actually the best-selling game on the Wii U as well. Wow. That's, yeah, that's it's, it's like people forget, but like Mario Kart is bigger than people realize like the wii version of mario kart sold 32 million copies and in the heyday of like call of duty when call of duty was breaking all these records call of duty was selling like 15 million copies across a million different platforms and just mario kart steadily just got up to 30 million and it's like one of the best selling games of all time i think it's like top 25 of well, that's, all time that's like, it's, like it's really on the low i was i was yeah. not expecting that because like Especially because this is a port. This game is a port. Yeah. Like, it's not even like this is like yeah. a new game. There's... It's just also like th these games just keep selling, man. And people, you know, I've been trying to get people into it recently, obviously, for the for these tournaments. And uh, people are having so much trouble finding the game because they don't want to pay full price for it. They're like, dude, I, I bought understand. this game on Wii U. And then and it's like a seven-year-old game at this point. And Nintendo famously does not lower the prices of their games, like their first-party games for a long time and I'm like yeah well I mean it's still selling as if it came out two years ago or a year ago so that's I mean it makes yeah, sense if, if you're if you're buying a system like if you're buying a switch you're gonna get Mario Kart yeah Mario Kart oh, 8 yes. Deluxe is the 10th best-selling game of all time of all time like including every platform and Mario Kart Wii is the eighth best-selling game of all time Jeez. yeah, yeah this, this is love Mario like astronomical Kart. numbers bro you know the crazy? Th I'm I'm still shocked that like because I noticed there was a team from Switzerland that was just on the stream earlier. Yes. And there was a couple of people from France uh, that were in the tournament on Sunday. 
-hmm. and I'm just sort of like, this is crazy, man. Like, there's there are there's a reach. Not only is there a reach for this with, with like I guess with the sales numbers when you consider it being a great yeah. selling game, it's just like tapping man, into that, that. That's yeah. really taken us all by surprise because today we had two different teams of uh, French people invading. So that's six total French people that were really into it. And I'm like, I don't even know where they they're in the Discord and like, you know, they're talking in French and it's really cool. It just has this insane reach. I don't know. <laughs> really, I they're in the Discord. How we got this reach, but it just happened. Wait, those guys are in the Discord too? Yeah, Amazing. they were in the Discord earlier today. One of them, uh, the guy who won our last singles tournament on Sunday, he was from France. And I think he brought in a bunch of his buddies. That's so cool. Yeah, man. It's 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 uh, it's really amazing. I think it's because he's a link main from from uh, for Smash. Wow. And so maybe he, me and him were connected through that. So then eventually he started joining the tournaments. That's really something. Yeah, it's it's absolutely mind blowing. Though. I knew all those years of playing Link would eventually pay off for you, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> that did some good, bro. <laughs> it wasn't a complete waste of your. Oh my god, yeah. dude! Biddy just stole this game. Oh, I think uh, Steve. Okay, no, never mind. There's still another lap to go, but this is actually kind of hype because he's been lagging behind, and while his team of, of Fortnite legend Cubal and and <laughs> Steven are are already kind of in the lead. It's still close enough to where if like he has a poor performance and then what's the stance on lose. piranha plant as an item is that item any good so it's uh it's like it's it's a weird item a lot of good players don't like it because it lasts a long time and you get like a little boost from it but it ruins your turns and you can't protect yourself from the back it's really good if you're like really far behind and you just want to chomp on like a bunch of racers and ruin their day but like if you're just trying to play competitively, it can just ruin your rhythm because it's it, it really makes your turning different. Like I personally hate that item. Like I, I would rather I hate getting hit by it and I hate having it. <laughs> I'd rather anything but that item, man. Just like plant and just like plant and smash it stays ruining everybody's fun. Yeah, the plant is doesn't matter what game it is, nobody wants to see the plant. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So it does look like uh it does look like Diddy's part of the bracket did finish that was a final race and i do believe that they move on and they will be playing against kgp sinatra and maverick hunter names that we are definitely familiar with what a gang yeah it's also really cool seeing like which players um have been like really good at mario kart that were good at smash or weren't good at smash or vice versa it's just funny to see like the overlap of like, you know, now there's a new batch of people that are considered top players in this group. It's just so funny. Like, this is probably the only game that I'll, I'll body Justin in, and then he'll just delete me in Smash Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah, dude, that's, that's like, you know, Smash Brothers skill doesn't always uh, imply yeah. other game skills. or Even if it does, it doesn't, you know, anyone can be better at any game. But I do want to give a shout-out to Awesome Michael uh, 1, the Awesome Michael 1. <laughs> Uh, who just won his first losers match against uh, Team Brother? What is that? Brother Quans, Chives, and Bigwig. Yep, cool. that's that's them. So he's going to go ahead and move on, and I'm going to see how many people are still active in that losers bracket while we're on the conversation. But that was his run. Um, I don't know when Biddy's going to start, but probably soon. If you guys listen to the stream long enough, you'll hear me scream as I catch tarantulas in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Glenn, do you want to hear my horror story from last night? Of course. Animal Crossing stories are amazing, man. So I was trying to make... I In, in Animal Crossing New Horizons, they have uh, DIY projects to make furniture. Mm -hmm. So I got a, a DIY to make a bed. And I got tired of sleeping in a cot. So I was like, okay, I'm going to make this bed. Except I needed wood. I needed right. wood from trees. Right. Can you hear me? Yes. Right, so, um, but I'd already hit all my trees for today, so I didn't have any wood on my island, mm -hmm. so I had to go to a mystery island to go farm wood. Now, there's just one mystery island in the game that spawns nothing but tarantulas as the bugs you can find. Ah, uh, that's creepy, dude. And, and guess what <laughs> island I got? That's when I that one? <laughs> to farm wood. Yeah, to make a bed. Do I you have a tarantula problem, like in real life? I hate spiders. <laughs> Right. I can't stand spiders. They freak me out. And in Animal Crossing, the tarantulas are, are creepier 
because they have stances that they take so you can't ca like catch them oh the yeah bus. i remember that yeah yeah so they like cock back and like you have to like wait for them to like not be in a defensive stance right and then you gotta you have to fight them so dude, that's i think that's hilarious i think you're being forced to to deal with your fears dude yeah yeah i can't think honestly. of a more i can't think of a more clear message for you <laughs> tom nook is living rent free in your head koopa he knows all your fears <laughs> <laughs> can't believe no, you let so him just have that like that, dude. Of so, all the yeah, people who should be living rent free, Tom Nook is the last person, bro. Absolutely. <laughs> but, 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 here's the crazy, but here's the crazy part. So, um, I wasn't like to too upset about getting on the island because, um, I, uh, tarantulas sell for like 8,000 bells. Right. So, like, it's a, it's a really, like, it's a really good, like, I've seen people that, like, catch, like, they catch, like, uh, like, 30 like 29 tarantulas and they sell them for like like a quarter of a million bells right so like it's a really good way to like get early money in the game and just in general to like farm money um the problem was i didn't have my inventory set uh to like properly catch like an amount of tarantulas to make it worth it so i basically just ended up just like dropping all of my inventory on the island that i could not get back and i'm Wait, like fuck it does it stay there yeah, but it wasn't anything that I like was like gonna miss. So right. it was all just like general sub like, uh, like it was like wood, gotcha. and, like rocks and stuff that I like didn't need. But like, I I caught sixteen tarantulas and it took me like over an hour because I was like fucking terrified. Because <laughs> like they like spawn on top of each other. Yeah, so, it's like, creepy. It, dude, yeah. it was. I was I was on the phone with my with my girlfriend, and like at one point I like lost a tarantula behind a tree. And it like it like sprinted at me from like behind the tree, and I fainted, and I like legitimately screamed. <laughs> like I was, I was, I was so scared. But I have since conquered my fear, and now I, I sleep in a very comfortable bed. Uh, yeah. But the first tarantula I caught, I actually, uh, I, I did not, uh, I was gonna donate it to the to the museum for completion purposes, but then I decided to keep it as a pet. So. That, yeah, you can just like drop it in your home just, and it has like a tank and everything. Just to remind yeah. you. Yeah, that's cool. Wow. Oh, so now we're seeing the N64 Rainbow Road. Yeah, featuring uh, Biddy at the moment. Yeah, so you know, this is going to be a really... This map is really hard to come back on if you mess up early on. Because there's no shortcuts and it's just solid like... You just have to have good item management, and you have to just race better than your opponent. But if you're really behind, it's it's really hard. So it's funny that's an N64 track, and it's like that. Back when Mario Kart was just like standard old, like here's your track, no no crazy like gimmicks right. or anything. Because uh, that's that's what we were saying earlier. Uh, Koop and I were talking about how each Mario Kart game has like their unique tracks, like that four cups worth, and then it's like their four cups worth of like old tracks that they could fit into the new formula. This being one of them. In this game right yeah it, they, this game has like a, a really good assortment of all the old styles like it's kind of funny because if, if you remember like the first game you know it was on the snes so everything is really flat and like a lot of people yeah. don't even consider <laughs> that like a real mario kart game you can't really move that well um it's it's amazing for the time but you know it's it's uh they made those game those levels three-dimensional in this in this mario kart so it's cool to see like those really old levels and just how they are in a modern style. Yeah, we saw Block World. On, I think it was the first track that they raced on. Yeah. Uh, and that's if like you, one of my like favorite. Like, yeah, and if you see like when the level gets chosen, it if it's a retro stage, it actually tells you what game system it's from. Um, so like at the bottom, yes, you'll see that. Yeah, it'll say like you know DS or whatever. All right, so Mav. Yeah. In first place there. So another interesting thing to note about this format of teams is that when you have this team set up, you, you have to be really strategic because a lot of times, like, it's not even about you getting first. It's like, if your boy is in first place, then you're like, oh, I, I can just hold this item and defend him. And that way we are insured first place and second place. And so like the dynamics change a lot more than you might think when you have two other players that you're not worried about at all. Right. Yeah, oh, this is a fun track. Yeah, this is really cool. This is the Excite Bike one. This is one of the first DLC tracks for the game, right? When it was out. Yeah, back the, in eight. The, right. Yeah. On the Wii U. Unfortunately, there was no uh, DLC 
once for the Switch version, like the Switch version brings every everything from the Wii U one plus a few changes, but they never added like additional stuff, unfortunately. Which would have been really cool. Typical of a del typical of a deluxe version. Yeah. Dude, they were just like, oh, people haven't played this yet. Let's just put this on the system. That's literally the, the amount of yeah. thought process put into this. No, no, no rips on Nintendo. It's just kind of like you, you really think about it. Because no one yeah. played this game, dude. Because no one owned a, a Wii U. No a one Wii even knew U, the Wii yeah. was different was like, than a Wii. They were like, oh, we're like most of the people we can probably sell this to so many people who didn't have it at all because no one had a freaking Wii U. Uh, a little lag from Biddy's end, unfortunately. Yeah. Imagine there was an item in the game that did that. It just lags the player <laughs> from the first play. <laughs> it turns your your freaking connection into a slideshow. Oh. Yeah, it's it's just a, it, the item's just a potato plugged into someone's Ethernet port. Yeah. <laughs> it's like guys wearing a tinfoil hat, and he's just yeah. plugging into a potato. <laughs> like my Wi-Fi is ready, bro. Sounds like sounds like my Wi-Fi. <laughs> the lag is just the lag is only bearable because he's playing as Donkey Kong and it's so funny. Is so Donkey Kong's like is he like topish tier? Isn't basically isn't just like heavies yeah. is the tier list. <laughs> so the way that the tiers are set up is that uh, it's it's a lot of it is dependent on weight more than cart. And so DK Rosa and Waluigi they are all exactly the same weight class. They're like the second heaviest weight class. And so if you're a little bit heavier then you know your acceleration is a little too bad but because they're heavy enough and they have a good acceleration they can kind of just bully other characters and like they're just more well-rounded so yeah because i that was one of the big gripes i had with this game at the start where i was just like i can't even use a light character man it's just, it's a, it's a oh, heavy characters yeah. game like this is this is silly like, and the light characters like from what i remember like in, in the ds version like the light characters were amazing so yeah. like historically the heavies weren't as good so and that was that was the big problem I had with it kind of where I'm just like so people it's really easy to hate on Double Dash as like a game like I think that people generally agree that that's not their favorite except for some of the loyalists are just like well no I love Double Dash and and I, like I'm in that I'm in that same group where I love Double Dash and the reason I did is because the characters were unique enough where they even had their own items if you remember like they all had yeah, their own like, yeah. yeah i really like that that was cool and that made every character kind of viable despite the weight because maybe they had something else to offer from like their, yeah. their kit so to speak plus like double dash had the double item setup which they just brought back for this game if this wasn't even the double item setup that we're watching right now that was not even in the wii u version they added it to this deluxe version so um yeah double dash had a lot of cool stuff and some of the best stages in the, in the series honestly yeah, this is one of my favorite courses from Seven. Oh yeah, yeah. Music Park is it's, legend. It's so, mus it's so yeah. musical. Yeah, when you're power sliding on the piano, and it's like you hear every note as you pass it. Yeah, this is this is one of those like kind of god tier maps in this game. I don't think I've talked to one person who doesn't love this map. That's that's yeah. played on it. And it's because because yeah, I like that like with Mario like when they got to the newer games they like would do more variety courses that weren't just like character themed. Yeah. This is just this is just like centered around like the Mario gimmick of like the music block. Yeah, I mean after eight games and several, you know, however many hundred of courses that results yeah. to. There's there's math to that. I'm just not doing it. Yeah. Um, you know, there's I'm sure you, you got to start reaching for for inspiration. Oh my god, Biddy is a, a magnet for these bananas, man. Yeah, he's he's just just... Got, he slid into three bananas in the last. <laughs> he's time. having a rough outing. At this particular typical, moment, typical he's got of Donkey Kong. He's, he's got yeah. another laugh to pick it up, but in the meanwhile, Sinatra just got squashed by the uh, music note there. Uh, KGP oh. holding it down at a healthy third place. And yeah, and right now uh, I think that's Steven in first. Steven is probably like the best. Uh, probably like I think Kugi, Steven, myself, and Maverick Hunter are consistently like at the top of the results when we play. So Steven is like really like hard to beat, like it, it, especially when he has this big of a lead. It's gonna be really. Coop, I, I wanna I wanna point out again that my my uh, Mario Kart 8 OST that's playing from YouTube is on the right song again. Yes. Wait, really? Yeah, this is not the game audio because I can't get the game audio. Oh my so, god, that's hilarious! Dude, this happened I before. Have no idea, dude. What What was the other one? Uh, 
The Donkey Kong song? No, no the... it was uh, it was the the Cloud Top one. Uh, oh, that's sick. Yeah, do the same one. That's amazing. I don't even, you know, couldn't couldn't have planned it any better. All right, so oof. So let's see yeah. how that shook out. So it looks like, yeah, you were right, Steven, coming in first there. Uh, yeah, on, okay, so this is actually pretty close. They have one more race left because it looked like uh, Maverick Hunter was the leader in points, Steven the second. They're, they're on opposite teams. And yeah. then the middle was just kind of muddy. So I, I'm going to guess that this current race bears a lot of importance as to who moves on to winner's finals because that is where we're at this is a winner semis which i'm gonna i'm gonna add to the overlay now that i know how these work where there's bracket spots but wait Ooh, so you gba mario circuit i mean we you know in the future we'll see if uh we even do the bracket format it's it, we're not like i had a few people that i might just i might just enlist more help this time instead of uh letting smash dg do all the work yeah and we'll see how it goes because um i don't know uh what did you do the week before this, like for for the team so, races? Right. So the, the there is a tournament mode in the game, and that's how we've been doing the singles every Sunday. And then we started doing team races every Tuesday. And again, that's the tournament mode that's it built into the game. So it's very easy. You just sign into your game. You go to tournaments. You type in the code for that specific tournament. And then as long as you're there at the, at the right time, you can join in whenever, and it just starts pairing you up with. Um, you know, whoever else is playing and, and people pick their teams ahead of time and stuff. And so it's super easy. The game does all the heavy lift, pop in and pop out. That's um, really but interesting. But then some people wanted to build their own like custom teams and not just be on these big, like red team has 20 players and blue team has 20 players. So um, that was kind of where we went with this, where people wanted to kind of make their own specific, like me and my friend versus everybody. Right. So. But there's no real way to do that within the game tournament mode, so, um, so yeah, that's how we got here. Interesting, yeah, because I'm, I'm just wondering what the next pivot's gonna be. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll have to see, cause I, I did see that there's there might be a better website for Smash E. Uh, so depending on how that goes, we'll uh, we might attempt this one more time in a, in a, again in the future. But yeah, we'll I guess see. as long as people are open to it. Uh, in the meanwhile, um. We actually do have a little bit of action going on right now, cause yeah, this is yeah, this is cool. Boosk and Lemon Tea, uh, first and second in their respective race, and they're on the same team, so that's good. Uh, if you want to keep up with Biddy, there he is on the bottom left there, got taken in second, and you know what? I actually kind of want to see what that resulted in. Dude, look how cool that is! We're watching four screens at once. That's so awesome. So this is this yeah, is, is Biddy's. Awesome. So. Coming in second, I don't know how that math adds up. Uh, it's looking like, uh, I'm trying to remember who's on whose team. All right, yeah, so it's looking like Biddy's team will probably advance because Maverick's team, unfortunately, looks like uh, did not place very well on the bottom there, but that's okay. It happens. Playing against a bunch of tryhards. Happens yeah. yeah. <laughs> Playing, playing against Steve and, and, Steve and uh, Cubel. <laughs> Truly the worst type of tryhard. Yeah, the Mario Kart tryhard. They're like, yo, bro, I'm just trying to race and talk to the boys. Like, we joke that Smash is a party game, but Mario Kart's actually a party game. <laughs> it's funny, man, yeah. It, you, so, uh, what's really cool about what we're watching right now, you know, Lewis is in first, and since Boosk and him are on the same team, Boosk just doesn't have to worry about, like, as far as Boosk's concerned, he's in first place, too. Like, it yeah. changes the way you think about it because you're not trying to just think, how do I snipe the guy in front of me so that I can win this race? Instead, you're, you're just coasting in second, and as, you're just holding the fort, which is really cool. It's compi Isn't that, that's like a similar, like, strategy in NASCAR, too? Like... Oh, yeah, they do have, like, a like a format like that, right? Yeah, because they have, like, multiple racers on the same team, so, like, you yeah. can just, like, hold fort and, like, not have to... I'm, I'm the last person you should be coming to to, like, talk about NASCAR. <laughs> I know Jack, so. <laughs> so, all right, it looks like Biddy's starting back up. Um, and it looks like against the same guys. I'm not sure what happened there. Is there, like, a best of three thing going on? So, um, it should be, let's see. This, is this winner's finals? Uh, this was winner's semis. It was. Uh, it looked like he, uh, t uh, Biddy's team had won, but I'm not sure. It looks like they're playing the same guys again. Right. No, I think they're, they're, they have to do four races for one. So this might be the last race. 
Yeah. Unless they tied. If they tied, then they had Oh, to I think that they may have tied because I swear that last one was the fourth race and it looked like when they were starting here it was fresh. Right. But anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to Biddy at the moment. Let's get a Lemon Tease race here. And again, These this guys is... are cursed, man. They're on Neo Bowser City in a competitive th setting. This this map is like insane. Oh, this map is awful. This map is OD. It's insane. And uh, there, I'm going to get better with adding the stream links. I'm just changing too many cameras. But there we go. If you want to check any of these guys out individually, please do. Uh, those are the streams right on top of their cameras. Aesthetically, this stage looks fun, but I can't. Oh, yeah, it looks great. Yeah. Like, even like when I'm like playing in like my own time, this stage like ruins my life. Man, if, if you attempt this stage on 200 CC, you'll never play more. <laughs> Dude, it's 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 freaking brutal, man. Like, you it's like raining, and so everything is sliding everywhere. And when you're at 200, it's like you're holding the brakes and still sliding at full speed. It's like if the auto bomb had like traffic lights. Yeah. You know, Glenn might have the upper hand in competitive uh, Mario Kart, but see me in competitive Animal Crossing. <laughs> How would that even work, man? Are we gonna do like a bug catching contest, man? No, you know it's fun. Alpha Rad actually. Alpha Rad posted like a joke video of what like competitive Animal Crossing looks like, and it's just like. Uh, <laughs> it's like two guys just hitting each other on the head with the with their nuts. With the net. <laughs> um. Yeah. So the thing is, is like you can be creative in Animal Crossing because it's like a it's like a world sim, right? So I actually saw another streamer. I don't know if anyone's familiar with XQC, but he's just like a variety streamer. He used to be like a pro. Yes. Yeah. He used to be a pro uh, Overwatch guy. So he's been playing Animal Crossing, and he was basically doing like a Simon Says tournament. With like Animal Crossing stuff, being like take, you know, Simon says take out your shovel. Simon says do a 360. Oh my but god, Simon, that's and so it, funny. It was actually pretty sweet, like, and it that was like hurt. with the subs. I was like, this is very cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm having way more fun with this game than I thought I would. Animal yeah. Crossing. I, yeah. I like Animal Crossing, but I'm not like a like a huge. Like, I'm not like a like a diehard Animal Crossing person, but like, um, this this game is just like invoked like a. Uh, a side of my brain that I didn't know I had access to because like I'm making like furniture and shit and I'm just like yo wait this is kind of cool yeah it's probably one of the more unique games like out there T TVH but yeah, all right. it's, 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 this game is just, it's, this game's got a lot of content to keep me busy so but I'm not a dirty time skipper so yeah I got I, I, I'm gonna have no comment for the time skipping all I know is just like why would you just it's ruined the experience, man. I don't know. Did you ever see the movie Click? Like, <laughs> bro. So I get to the end so fast, and you're just gonna be laying in the street crying dramatically. We don't, we don't want that. I actually think it's so funny how like that. There's that for people that do that. Like, dude, I forgot about that movie until until Koopa mentioned it the other day. Yeah. Wait, you mentioned Click the other day? Yeah, I did. Amazing. <laughs> Looks even better. All right, let's let's toss it over to the awesome Michael here. Still, dude, uh, the awesome Michael is actually pretty lit at this game. I'm noticing he's fighting out in losers bracket, but I was, I think I think he's probably someone who uh, he's got the boys playing who maybe don't play this game as much or as hard. But I've been right. watching and he finishes in first like every time. He's oh, chaotic. nice. Oh, he's using a, apparently um, his setup is apparently the like top tier setup, which is. Waluigi, Rosa, or DK on a Mr. Scooty bike on the roller wheels. <laughs> Which is uh, that I uh, everything I just said, I am fully aware how funny it sounds. <laughs> right? Sounds sounds great. <laughs> Mr. Scooty is the official dude, name of I, that bike. Dude, I love Mr. Scooty. Like, <laughs> the, <laughs> it just brings me back to Futurama. Is what it brings me back to. Scooty Puff Junior. Oh, Scooty Puff Junior. Yeah. Scooty Puff Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm okay. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna add in Biddy because Biddy did a really good job. Uh, uh, really good job the other day when we were doing <clears throat> uh, just just the normal circuit. Okay, hold on. I want to jump back to these guys real quick because they have an active race and they're both playing. Or yeah, hello. I guess they're both playing well. We'll say, hey, Biddy. Yo. Did you guys watch the other race before? Or? Yeah, we were we were watching. Yeah. It, well, because like I, I, I didn't know if you guys knew what was happening. Or so not. Well, I saw that you guys finished, and I'm assuming you guys tied. 
Yeah, and then we did one race after that to. For okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that that was what happened, and, and it looks did like you guys won. Tiebreaker race. I didn't. What I just. Was that on? What's up? What stage was that on? The it was like the night Bowser stage, I think. Oh, we did see that. Yeah. The Neo night Bowser City, the rainy one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was the tiebreaker race. Wait. So, which team won that? Me, me, Justin, and uh, yeah, me Let's and Justin. Got, me and Justin got to a top two in that. So. Let's go. That's hype. Yeah, dude. That that's the hype we're supposed to get. So, ima imagine a future where you have at least like one person per uh, team streaming, and you can like actually follow yeah. this. Um, it is possible. What's going, man. On, what's going on here? Uh, right. Is, yeah. Th this is a. Uh, yeah, I think this is winner semi still, and I think this is maybe race three, two or three. Is it said there was only five people in it, I think? Oh. It? Yeah, it does. Yeah, You're right. Right, yeah. So I guess they were able to start the race without having... Oh, yeah. Just one of them. That means that the teammate checked in on Smash GG but could not actually play the game, which is hilarious. That's really funny. <laughs> oh, this is the Yoshi stage from Double Dash, right? Yep. Yeah. I hate All this right. stage. I'm going to go back in the other call. All right, we'll, we'll be All right, here. Good luck, Biddy. Here. Good luck, Bodie. Godspeed. Godspeed, bro. <laughs> that right. should be a, like a speed setting in Mario Kart. Like, Godspeed. You see, Godspeed. <laughs> Godspeed's appropriate to say all of the time. Even when it doesn't make sense. Alright, so I think what's happening on the top there is maybe one of the other teammates dropped because now it looks like, okay, three people in the race. They must have lost one. Maybe they, Maybe the guy got disconnected or something. Yeah, somebody had to go help their mom get groceries. Yeah, because right now we're watching the final race, which entails all, uh, you know, just, just the guys. The guys on the one team. So I, I think that means that we'll be seeing, oh, that means winner's finals pretty much, uh, which is going to be those guys. Um, those guys being Lemon T's team versus Biddy's team. So this is, this is the... The excitement we've all been waiting for. I just somebody just gave me a dress in Animal Crossing. What kind? It's a polka dot dress. Ooh, that's nice. You wear dresses in Animal Crossing, Kyle? Yeah. So, something can. you want to talk about, bro? You got a problem? <laughs> <laughs> that's tight. Bro, I'm on a desert. I'm on a deserted island, bro. I got to do what I can do. My brother always, since we were kids, he always made his Animal Crossing female. Which I thought was really cool. Like he was like, "Yeah, the female outfits are just cooler. Like they have, there's more cool stuff." And I was like, "Oh, I guess I didn't think about that." That's 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 the that's the wave in like any sort of like role playing game. The female characters always have better customization options mm -hmm. and more than like five hairstyles. Yeah, it's not inaccurate. The thing is, especially in like Animal Crossing, the the starter haircuts for 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 male villagers is it's kind of like. Yeah. Yeah, the starting haircuts in this game were, were trash buckets, to say the least. Um, I so, had that nice fade, though. A fade. So really funny about the, this Animal Crossing game, more fun facts, is that um, you don't actually choose a gender in the game. You just choose what you look like. Yeah, right. So, like, it's very all-inclusive. So, like, the male characters can, like, present feminine or not. Like, I can wear a dress if I want to. Like, it's pretty cool. And there's like canon characters with like uh, at least in like the English localization that like are like that like are like gay and lesbian and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, apparently this is like the first Nintendo game to have a canonically openly uh, gay character. Like one of the villagers yet I don't remember which one it was. I saw like a screenshot of it. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. CJ. It's his it's he's an otter. He's uh nice. he has, like, Wait, in this Animal Crossing? He... Yeah. yeah. I'm just surprised because they don't even really give the characters as much personality to begin with. Like they just say like a different thing, like a nickname for you. Right. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah. So like, there's a there's a line of text. Oh my god, a fucking. Okay. So get so more story time. Um. So I just uh, got attacked by a tarantula and fainted. So when you faint, you go back to your house. And as I'm waking up in front of my house, a tarantula spawned right next to me, and I caught it. <laughs> At least you caught it. I hate I hate it here so much. Dude, watching Thanks. watching the awesome Michael duke it out here. Um, still in first place, by the way. Uh, this is while we're waiting for winners finals to start up. Those guys are all in the menus and, and starting. So, shout out to Michael for keeping us entertained.
Yeah, this much. Mr. Scooty, man. Oh, I hate this day so much. He's, he's got a little more Yoshi than I want to see in his overlay, but, you know, sometimes <laughs> we're, just, we're just fans of Yoshi, and there's nothing else you could say. Electrodome can, can, like, suck every inch of my body. I hate this day so much. <laughs> suck every inch of my body. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand. I, I don't know what it is. I just don't like this stage. It's one of my favorite stages, actually. I, I'm not a fan. I think it's because I'm jaded. Because I, I, I'm trying to like complete the game on like 200 CC, and I keep getting fucked up. Oh, you know, this stage is a nightmare on 200 CC, man. Yeah, it's it's not fun. I'm not having I'm not having a good time, if you can tell. I just. Yeah, but I I you just fly off the stage. The thing about 200 CC that is difficult is the fact that you have to use your brake. Right. Like you literally have to use it, whereas you never even hit that button at all. Yeah, there's actually um, oh. there's a, a brake drift mechanic that's mandatory if you want to do 200 CC. It's basically a way of like you hit the brake, but you're still power sliding in place, and unless you master that, you really can't do 200 CC. What do you get for finishing out like three stars and 200 CC again? I think you get the gold. Uh, you get the gold Mario. I mean, not the gold Mario. Yeah, I actually think you get gold Mario if you three star every single cup in every speed, every CC. And I think you also get the gold like cart components. So you get like the cart, the wheels, and the glider. Oh God! By the way, this is our uh, winners finals here on uh, what's this Chirp Chirp Beach? What's this one called? Uh, okay. Cheap Cheap Beach. Cheap Cheap Beach. Not too bad. Uh, anyways, uh, and also we do have a new stream that we get to watch, and that is going to be uh, Cubal's. Cubal. <laughs> Cubal's stream <laughs> is, is available to watch. The many <laughs> aliases of Justin are incredibly funny. Wait, who? I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> you got me going who, is, <laughs> who is that person you just said? He who shall not be named. <laughs> oh, this is hype action! Oh my god, this is so cool! Huh? I'm gonna show you what, what's so cool in a second when I when I get it all set up. But basically, we can get two perspectives of each team from winners finals, and that is very awesome. Uh, let's see here. So put in Wish Seven S uh, stream. There we go. Okay, so this this is your streams. This is winners finals currently. So we have four out of the six racers. So that's kind of hype. Oh, my villagers are singing. That's really cute. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can. Okay. All right, well, I don't know who's in first here. I'm going to... Who plays... Ooh, the map is so small on my screen. Yeah, seriously, jeez. Cheese oh man. I just realized what Boosk's uh, Twitch name is. That's really funny. Oh yeah. Dude's really good. Boosk Mobile. Absolutely. That's that's a really that's ingenious. Fantastic. It's that's pretty so ingenious. Good. Uh alright, so who who mains uh like we're just gonna see right now anyways. Never mind. I'm not, I'm not gonna ask, isn't it? Okay, it, it it is Steve. So Steve mains uh inkling. Nice. So that's gonna look like you know, scoring points for uh the Bidman's team. Yes, sir. I love the giant crown item. That's that's amazing. Yeah, I I agree. I mean, how else do you tell if someone's doing really good? If it's not, if not a large crown. <laughs> you drop this, King. <laughs> Tears. Good meme. Alrighty, these guys gear up for the next race. Um, point leader being Steven. Yes, sir. Non-point leader being Lemon T. Uh, I think did get uh, six in that last race, something like that. I believe so. So the real trick is, as you're seeing them all start at different times, it's because their streams are probably... <laughs> Uh, encoding <laughs> just a little bit <clears throat> differently. But this is the same race, I assure you. 
That's so funny. <laughs> and it's you know, into the future and the past at the same time. <laughs> If there's any if there's any uh stream we want to hone in on, we can do that. Uh for example, it does look like Boosk Mobile sitting sitting pretty at first place right now, so we could go ahead and jump to that. And see what the strats are. Seeing a lot of hops. It does get get passed by is that Mesa? Is that a pink gold peach? No, it is not. It's Biddy. Pink Old Peach still might be the worst DLC character of all time. It's the like I get what they were trying to go for, you know. Like they're like, oh, you know, we have Metal Mario, and then the, you know, why not just Pink Gold or was it Rose Gold or is it Pink Gold? Whatever. No, it's Pink Gold Peach. Okay, yeah, Pink Gold Peach, and then they put in the Gold Mario in this game, which I thought was an interesting choice. There's so many characters in the Mario universe, and they just took two like metalized ones. I mean, I'm not going to argue with how cool Metal Mario is because he's super cool and he's got cool music, but... I'm uh, I'm already anticipating uh, Guiji to be an upcoming DLC character. Uh, that That's actually kind of hype, though. Like, Guiji, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'll take a Luigi alt, but, like, we already... There's, there's three Mario alts in this game because cause there's also Tanuki Mario. Yeah. Glenn, what's your stance on Guiji being a, a Mario Kart character? <sighs> I mean, at this point, why not, man? Absolutely. They have three Marios. They have, like, Peach and Rose Gold Peach and, you know, two different browsers and all that. I mean, I guess at this point, why not, right? No, we were having the conversation as a K5. Let's go. You just played Stop 8 of the DNA on Wi-Fi. So. Yeah, thanks for the follow, Luffy. Uh, hopefully you see you on Thursday, man. See, uh, I believe it. Yeah, it was that Richter, sure. dude. He was the Richter. Oh, nice. Yep. That's, um, that's cool. Wait, so who ended yeah, up winning? Um, uh, uh, <laughs> Colmar. It was uh, really, really nice and controversial because everyone. Oh, so okay. So, oh, so he Colmar won last week too, right? Dude, Colmar won last week and he won Zeno last week, but under different Whoa. tags. <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> uh, Colmar nineteen, man. Pac-Man is the Wi-Fi god. He's good, dude. I, I get, I, you know, especially now with all the. Uh, uh, Alpha Rad main announcement of like the Soaked series and like the Wi-Fi tournament that's free to enter, but has like a 10k prize pool. Um, so I hope that it adds a little more excitement into Wi-Fi. At the at, at the very least. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> just reminding everyone who's just tuning in, this is winners finals at the moment. So we're getting four different perspectives here. Uh, on the left side is one team, and on the right side is another team. So Lemon T and Boosk on one team, and uh, Justin and Biddy on the other team. So we'll see what happens here. I think, what's this, race number three? I believe so. I think it's race number three. Ooh, and we're on the Zelda stage. Yes. Our coins are turned into rupees. Yeah, and you, you were seeing Boosk play as Villager, which is – it's funny that the default Villager for this game is, like, the messy-haired – like woke up at 3 p.m. hungover villager. <laughs> His hair is like really messed up. <laughs> the girl one has like a bunch of great options. Like there's the, they all look really like clean and nice. And then the male one is like this dirty villager with crazy hair. Yeah, I love the female villager uh, in this game. She's very uh... though she has like pink hair and like a ponytail and stuff. Yeah, it's like cute. super put together. And then this guy's like what? Like Mario yeah. Kart? All right. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I'm behind on all my payments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's just trying to survive. He's popping off about coronavirus. He's like, oh, I wasn't going to go to work anyway. He's like, finally, <laughs> an excuse to stay home. Yeah. <laughs> he's still trying to work on that. Uh, he's, he's been working on like a on a on an indie EP for like five years. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. Uh, <laughs> Hasn't updated his version of Rock Band in like since like 2008. With hair like that, oh, absolutely wow. not. Boost can narrowly avoiding that Bob Bob man. That thing, you know what's so funny about it is that it has a huge explosion, but there are, if you throw it, sometimes it'll just decide to walk. It like gets on its legs and it walks into the middle of the of the stage. So you think you avoided it sometimes and it's literally just walking into you. <laughs> Cute little Bob Bob, bro. 
You know, you never expect it. Those big, those big like beady eyes it's got. Yeah. I think it's just gonna blow you up like that. Yeah, I mean, I want to see which team actually ends up winning this. This would be interesting. Well, right now it looks like uh, Wish is kind of popping off right now. The, the, oh, that's a second place. It looks like he Let's lost go. to uh, S Steven, holding it down, man. Ooh. Winning all these races. Oh, man. Steven is a beast at this game. That He's my rival right now. He's like my Gary Oak. <laughs> that was like a near rage quit from <laughs> London T. I just want to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Uh, I believe this is the last game coming up for Winners Finals. And then let me see what's on the other side here. Uh, cha -cha -cha -cha, as we check out the bracket, which I could show you guys. Right here. Alright, so yeah, so this is Lemon T and, 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 and Biddy. They're playing it out. And then on the loser side of things. Heading over to, uh, well, we still got some quarterfinals here. I don't know if this one has started yet, but in either case, the other round has featuring guys that we just saw on the stream a little earlier than this. And this is the final race confirmed per the text on the game there. The stage still rules. Just want to bring that up again. I think I see Music Park more than any other stage so far in these streams because I saw this a lot on Sunday too. Um, yeah, I saw this a lot on Sunday where there was like Music Park consecutively. But granted, it was a lot of people in a lot of different races. Oh, uh, Glenn, I did want to ask you a question about the format for your Sunday regular tournament. Right. So are you going to narrow the, the time window so people can't farm uh, yes okay so uh kind of just going off what we said earlier you know some of this stuff there's no there's no you know blueprint for so one of the issues that we ran into uh was that people finished their 24 races early and i just basically wanted to have like a three hour window so that you know if you couldn't make it exactly at seven you could jump in at eight or at 8 30 and then you have plenty of time to like finish but it turns out most people are there on time and so all the heavy hitters were done by uh, 9 p.m. and the tournament was still open until 10. So there was a whole hour there where people could enter late and all the heavy hitter like great racers are already done and you're basically just racing at CPUs, which lets you like farm points by accident, which is, you know, that's not, not the player's fault. It's like I left a big window there and that ended up being one of the results. So we're going to shrink the window now and I think now like officially we have the optimal like best like rule set like we made some changes from the first time into the second one and now this next change i think is going to be our standard rule set so it's going to be 24 races two hours from 7 p.m to 9 p.m eastern time um that's, and yeah and that's it that's pretty hype honestly i actually i have really high hopes for the singles uh it'll be nice and, and if you guys are enjoying this I know we're, we're very much a niche crowd playing a, a game that's like old at this point, but if you're enjoying this, you can enter these. Uh, it's all free, and the yeah. way that the Sunday uh, weeklies work, there's a tournament code, so you can join after it starts. It's not like the teams. Um, right. Yeah. So so keep that in mind. Share with the boys. Get get some people in the brackets. Uh, you know these can scale up because it's run through the uh, Nintendo servers. And let's see what happened here uh, in this race because looks like it's over. And this is currently Justin's screen, so it looks like Steve. Yeah, okay, so it's looking like Steve and Biddy may have carried wishes. Yeah. Which doesn't really matter because cause it worked also. <laughs> I just see Justin laughing in his freaking player. Because he, he knows, man. He's he's having fun, and that's the whole point. The whole thing I is. I already know what he's saying. I already know what he's saying. He's been saying it this whole time. Cubal on top. That's what he keeps saying. <laughs> That's amazing. Go Cubal. It's almost like he doesn't refer to He never says himself. Cubal is a, a third person character that he refers to. Amazing. So Cubal won that. I'm like, dude, that's you. You're like, please, no. Uh, let's, uh, I'm going to check in on the amazing Andrew here. Because I think he... I don't know if his, if his games are still going off. It does look like they are. So here we are here is i think it's i think it's the amazing andrew oh the awesome 
the awesome Andrew, my bad. Or awesome Michael, dude, I suck. <laughs> the amazing Andrew. I thought it was the amazing you, Andrew, dude. You weren't even close. That's crazy. I had some adjective with a name. That's <laughs> what I thought it was. Well, the awesome Michael is, uh, yeah, sitting at his second place as he does. Um, although usually he wins, from what I can see. What is the amazing Andrew from? Is that a thing? Uh, isn't that a magician, a comedian magician? It might be. But... I don't know, the amazing Jonathan, I'm thinking of. Oh, yeah, no, that is that is one. That's You're a right. different thing, yeah. All right, so I'm getting this just in from chat. Uh, Nintunis reporting in that this team that we're following right now apparently mop them and that's what i said i was like anytime i tune in or check in on the awesome michael here he's either in first or second usually first this is actually the first time i've seen him in second um wow okay so wait let me let me look at this bracket because he's they're in losers i, I want oh so let me see they they got dq'd in the round two it's so funny they actually won their round one and then got dq'd round two dude and he's he's grinding right now because he played all the way from the bottom of losers and now looking to probably be heading in the loser semifinals. Um, I think he's still got another race or so left, but I don't know what's happening with the losers quarters above that, um, if it started or not, or, or what the status is. But uh, meanwhile, in losers finals, you have Lemon T, uh, Mesa, and Boosk kind of just chilling. That's a lot of Yoshi. You're right, man. Holy God! That's wait. That's too much, Yoshi. <laughs> and Dude, also, he's the 2020 20. census doesn't. The 2020 census has agreed that that is too much, Yoshi. Yes. That's a lot of Yoshi. In these trying times, that is definitely way too much, Yoshi. I need 25% less Yoshi. <laughs> that's like a third of one of those picks. All right. Um... Oh, this course is fun, especially when the game is like super fast. This is a really good remix of, of this song in Mario Kart. Oh, the, the Zelda theme? Yeah, it's neat. Oh, it's great, yeah. I remember being a pretty big fan of this map when it was... what Was this... Uh, which game was this? This was 7. This was... Uh, dude, 7... Yeah, that 7. That was a lot of fun. That was a, oh, that was, yeah. that this was a special is my, that game, That was my man. favorite level in 7 was this pipe one. Yeah, uh, it's really good. I like this one a lot. Yeah, this is a. Uh, it's really cool the way the way it kind of like progresses too. Because what's it? Each lap, like you could or no, never mind. I'm thinking of a different level. But in either case, yeah, there's ways you'd really zoom in this, just because like you follow the current and it makes you go fast, right? And all the extra hops you get. Yeah, you move super fast. I really like it, dude. Also, Michael even dust in the trails there. It's pulling away further and further. Mr. Scooty, baby. That's going to be my farm tag when I enter Wi-Fi tournament. Mr. Scooty. Mine's Sasagio. What does that mean? <laughs> so there's there's like, there's like a music meme with Guy Fieri holding a really big hot dog. And apparently there's like a name that sounds like Sasagio. I don't know. It's really funny. It's deep lore of musicians. I just think the name Sasagio is hysterical. There's... A <laughs> that's, that's funny. Man, quarantine's really hitting you different, huh, Chris? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I do wonder what the next, like, what what a new Mario Kart will look like, because, uh, yeah, I'm reading what Nintendo's in the chat, and it is... Mario Kart's a series that does improve with each game for the most part. Um, and I say for the most part because I just think about Wii, which is a good game, but I never got to fully enjoy it because I always felt like I should be using the motion controls. You know what I mean? Like, I felt like guilty oh, that right, I wasn't. Yeah. I, that's the only Mario Kart game I actually never bought. It was, I just, like, I, didn't get it for some reason. It people just, loved like, it. I, I people, for that one. people loved that one. And I got to tell you, I played it, and I thought it was, like, cool, but, like, it didn't draw me in, like, say, 7 did or even DS, like, all those. Like, it's just... It's just right. Uh, the... Um, Mario Kart Wii. Uh, I didn't really like that game. I didn't like I don't, in regards to Mario Kart. It's not really like one of my favorites. 
my favorites are definitely seven and eight and and probably ds like overall but I, ds probably like i wouldn't want to go back to it but just when it was out that moment, it, was, it was yes at the time that DS was is the melee dude it's it was my favorite it was my favorite ds game in general like for the entire system that's the most fun i had on any ds game and people forget that's actually the first online nintendo game first party nintendo game ever was mario kart ds four <laughs> players magical four players maximum on online Oh yeah, creating the emblem in Mario Kart DS. I remember having yeah, that Mega Man one up. Yeah, that. absolutely. That's a good call. Whose yeah. game is updating right now? Uh, so <laughs> the, the the tags are all right there, except for the top is is Boosk. That's so. Boosk downloading Animal Crossing. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> hey man, he's got he's got some time because he's got to wait out loser semis. Okay, so loser semis is ready, and it's going to be more of the awesome Michael. Um, yeah, not, he's doing not great. Amazing Andrew. So that'll be good because he is playing pretty well. So we'll be chilling there. And if you guys want to go support uh, the awesome Michael, um, I and, and I do recommend you do. You can go ahead and do that at the Twitch address that you see on the left side of the screen there. It's an illusion. It's an illusion, Michael. All right. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna have to head out because I have to now. I have to micromanage the rest of this bracket. There's a couple of. Uh, interesting this like edits that i'm gonna have to make on the um on the like whatever the back end here i need to like automatically dq certain people that are not showing up to certain brackets this is very interesting <laughs> well good luck you know what godspeed godspeed <laughs> 200 cc <laughs> God, godspeed godspeed let's just say 200 cc <laughs> 200 cc <laughs> all right thanks guys no. i'll uh, i'll catch you guys later all right talk later later man See ya. All right, so. Who the fuck was that guy? Yeah, I don't know. I've no, I've never heard of him ever. <laughs> <laughs> now, shout out to Glenn, man. This is a, you know, I know this is kind of a smaller event, and it kind of got a little mixed up with the way Smash GG works, and we're kind of just chilling. But I actually, I'm personally having some fun with this, and I could just see these getting better with a little bit more like participation from like people playing and. And even just like chat and stuff, because the whole idea is to kind of get to know everyone who's in there playing. Like Mario Kart doesn't have to be serious, but even just kind of getting some personality in the form of you playing it uh, via your own stream and having it compared to the other racers is. I think I think there's a lot to it. Is, is what I'm getting at. And yeah, I, for sure. It's it's it just there's like definitely deeper facets to this game that I didn't think about. So yeah, there's there's definitely a meta to it. Yeah. Uh, oh, what's up, Diddy? What's happening right now? Uh, right now, we are in loser semifinals, which thankfully we have a feed to, uh, thanks to the awesome Michael, who is currently who we're watching until we get to losers finals, where we'll see some more lemon tea and boost. Is this stream. the first race? This is the first race, yes. Okay. But this guy is actually pretty good. Um, he's been coming in first or second each time, although right now he's kind of getting, uh, getting, getting the work a little bit, but. We'll see, man. This is this is They're where coming out here with the melee, with the with what? the melee fox of uh, Mario Kart. <laughs> wow, who's actually Waluigi? Oh, okay. So this is one of the teams from France. It looks like. Yeah, no. I feel like these guys are like actual racers. I think they're right. Or you're right because isn't that uh okay that that guy's from Canada too. So if you have France and Canada, they probably know each other from like the deep, the deep uh, real tournaments of Mario Kart before these existed. Right. It's kind of hype. Yeah, these guys, <laughs> these guys probably know each other's like ISP addresses. Yeah, because uh, this is this is the first time I've seen the awesome Michael not place in the top two, so playing against what are presumably pros. Um, because, yeah, I think that guy who won the first Nintendo Circuit was from France, and you said he's like a world guy in terms mm -hmm. of like one of the best, one of them best in the world yeah, guys. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, see me in Animal Crossing, though. So. <laughs> There's still way too much Yoshi happening on the screen right now. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. 
All right, bye. Okay, bye. I see a request from Sinatra to come into the call. What do we, what do we think, chat? What do we think, chat? Press one for Sinatra. Press two to keep him on red. <laughs> I just think it's a funny exercise. I'm probably going to let him in anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. We got a two. There's another two. That's so funny. <laughs> Ooh, not looking good for your boy, man. Uh, the fates I love you, team. Sinatra. I'm kind of busting your chops. That's so funny. You gotta love, you gotta love it. All right, so awesome, Michael. Taking all the shortcuts here, doing pretty well, but despite okay, so there we go. Fine is his place at second, and I believe that is his teammate in first. Let me confirm that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I can't tell. I see it's an American flag, but that doesn't necessarily mean it, it's his his teammate. Um, okay, I don't know if these names match because it looks like his teammates' names are Bowser sixteen, Bowser spelt with a with an eight instead of a B and Sky the Kid. But either way, either case, he's in first place now. So I will see if he keeps the lead. He does look like he's kind of running away with that. I forget. <laughs> coins are such a weird thing. I, I don't know if I like or hate coins, Mario Kart. I got to tell you, I don't love them. Because uh, the problem is, is if you are not in... The, you know the first few places and you're behind and you're trying to catch up grounds you're probably not gonna get coins because the people in the first few places just pick them up in front of you so it's like hard to really break that ground while you do get the benefit of all the items that you get for being in the late places i'm not sure if that really compensates for just flat out speed bursts that you get or the speed buffs that you get from the coins you know what i mean because like if you're like right. look at this because like it, it's like a rich gets richer like very quite literally if you got a lot of coins and you're <laughs> continuing to get Coil. the coins, it is because you know once you have ten coins, nothing happens. I do think that maybe the coin system could work better if uh, if you have ten, you can't pick up more. I think that's I think that's possible. Right. Any song that features shy guys is is automatically top tier by the way this guy's got really good voices <laughs> i think my favorite combination of mario kart is the white chai guy <laughs> there's a, i think that's maverick country's main actually from what i understand it's pretty <laughs> classic it's pretty funny all right so we have a question from haven uh all right chat who's cooler sonic or shadow Dude, I think it's Sonic every time, but yeah, maybe Sonic's I'm just a purist. Yeah, Sonic's way past cool. That's so true. you have to be cool to be way past cool. So I will die on the hill that Sonic is cooler than Shadow. I don't. Uh, it depends on what kind of abuse of mod power we're talking, Aiden. I usually trust <laughs> your judgment, but but I, I think I, I think I already know what you're getting at, and I'm just gonna I'm just not gonna answer. <laughs> Alright, so this is third race or fourth race? I'm not entirely sure which race, but uh, they're getting uh, through it. I, to be honest, I don't remember. Yeah, well, because well, the winner of this does go on to play Lemon Tea and Company. So this might be it. I have a feeling this might possibly be the last race. There's too many Waluigi's on the screen. There's a lot of Waluigi's. This is how this is how you know these are like pro players because they're just playing. These are just meta picks. Yeah. They're just like they don't care about the character. <laughs> just like all right, purple man, go fast. Hearing, hearing. Oh my god! Look at that strat. Wow, dude. He that was kind of ballsy because he didn't have like a mushroom or anything to get through there. And there he goes, find himself in third place, very close to second. Does have a star sneaking up on him? Squeaks past second. I first, definitely on the horizon, you could see him, not too far out of the way. Uh, just touching bikes there, doing some spins. Nothing like touching a cart, you know, uh, <laughs> with with your peers. So, sinking down the fourth, I think he got a little lost on the rough there. That's the one thing I appreciate about the Austin Michael as I've been watching him. He don't give a sh 
He don't. He, I'm gonna watch my language. I'm gonna get better at this. He don't give a dang. <laughs> he does not give a dang yeah, he, he, if he has a mushroom in the very rough. Brave. He just goes. He just goes in the rough. <laughs> All right, this is the final lap. They're getting very, very close to the finish line here. This is essentially the, the bend before the last stretch. Not looking good for Michael. Um, I'm not sure who's in first here. But well, yeah, he's yeah, he's the results. <laughs> yeah, the results are in. Okay, so his teammate did win though. That is his teammate. Um, and hard to know. I think this is kind of one of those jumbled messes. You might be correct there. Yeah, well, the, I saw that um, one of the, one of the players from France got last, but I did see uh, Bowser, who won that last match, in second to last in point total. So I really do hate to see it. Yeah. What's it called? So I actually have to step out for now, Chris. I gotta take a phone call. All right, man. No sweat. This is fun though. So yeah, I, this was I, I fun. I think I'll be around on Sunday. So I'll be around for the for the hot singles action. Sweet. Uh, and yeah, and we, for everything else we're doing. Yeah, week, I don't. So. Yeah, I don't know if if you're looking at DNA or not, but. Um, yeah, I'll be around. I can't right. go anywhere. So. <laughs> <laughs> True. I was gonna say we're just chilling, dude. I'll be honest with you. I'm taking these opportunities yeah. to just learn how to like be better at this, like in terms of just like talking to chat and and, and better. Yeah, so. no, it'll be fun. All yeah. right, I'll uh, catch you guys later. Bye, chat. See you, dude. Alrighty, it's just your boy here. Oh, thanks, Jazzy. You're amazing. Um, all right, so this is the final race. Definitely the final race of Loser Semifinals winner. Once again, does go on to play Lemonty and Boost, who we have a feed for both of them, uh, which is nice. So we could potentially get a, a Loser's Finals where we have three different feeds. Um, or we could possibly just see one angle of that game. We'll see, because I, I think these players from France um, are, like, real pros which is actually really cool um so hopefully again if you're enjoying these things and you want to see more people in them or whatever all the information's on the top this is just tuesday's thing are the team races and then sunday that's like an open to everyone and that's like uh you can join after it starts there's a tournament code that's on the stream and all that so that's available but in the meantime this is what we got but if you do enjoy it uh, make sure you tell a friend about it or or whatever or, or don't I don't really uh, it doesn't it's really of no consequence um, I just think it's kind of neat and it would be cool to see more people from around the world join up especially with all the names and people that we're already very familiar with on this stream all right so awesome Michael with a little bit of ground that catch up here i'm not sure whose mans is in first who's waluigi but he's really far up there um we'll see we got a star with multiple mushrooms getting back into earshot unfortunately only to get caught in the rough here that waluigi still very much in first place with another top tier roy a couple more top tiers in roy uh right behind Yeah, it's no sweat. These these Mario Kart tournaments, I don't think they're going anywhere, especially that we're all in quarantine and can't do all too much to, to begin with. Um, this is like a, probably going to be a staple for me, and I'm okay with it because, um, you know, I went from having a stream every single week of Smash Locals or uh, Major or whatever. All right, let's see who won this. Um, I don't know who's on whose team here. Because the names do not match the Smash GG. Anyways, that's going to be it. I'm not sure how these points total here, um, who's who's in what position. But um, we, we'll know momentarily when I see who moves up in the actual bracket. Uh, which Glenn left not too long ago to micromanage, as he says. So I'm going to go ahead and check that now. And I could probably show you guys that as well. Uh, yep, there we go. So... Right now, it does look like this match is still to be determined. Getting really close to the end here. And this is the whole picture. And if you guys missed the explanation earlier, uh, if you weren't here watching when Glenn was explaining it, you see all these DQs because 
he tried to let Smash GG do a lot of the work uh, in terms of there was like a timer and then you have to check in and then you have to check into the actual game and then you have to also check into Smash GG. And I guess it just got lost in translation. Like this is 3v3, so even if one teammate messes up, it, it, it like is a DQ. So lesson learned. Uh, not much you could do after that. Uh, but anyways, uh, waiting to see who moves on. Oh, that's my stream deck. Nothing to see there. All right, let's see here. Yeah, if I had a cat, it would be a cat cam instead of my face cam. Dude, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm, I've always been a proponent of, of online education and classes online and just teaching people and using like a medium like this. Like, okay, okay. Imagine your history class, right? But you're playing Call of Duty, like whatever one takes place, one of the zombies that play, takes place in World War II, and that's how that was like your medium of learning. It's had a professor basically just bridge the gap of important stuff that you should know versus just gameplay of just like, okay, they have like these weapons in this time. Like that, people would care, and it would make a lot of sense. But like, I don't know, man. Education system so so dang stodgy. Um. All right. I mean, I would tell you you could play COD Zombies in class and learn, but I can't because I'm not your teacher, nor am I a licensed educational professional or anything like that. Um. I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyways. As we sit here and we wait to see what the results are here. Just want to know who won. I will go ahead and... I don't even think I have the ad here. But there's a... I just want to mention that DNA is still on Thursday. And this is the online DNA. Uh, hold on. I actually do have an ad for it. I'm going to see if I can find that. Yeah, see, going to go to college now. Be right back. That's amazing. Anyways, uh, yeah, so DNA is still every single Thursday, and that's free to enter. It's for Tri-State only. Um, I don't know, man. I know online Smash is not the wave. I think it's kind of the wave because I think it could be really cool, a really cool way like I'm doing now where if people were really into it and wanted to like do it for reasons – they could basically, uh, like, I could stream other people's matches as they play and and funnel them viewers if people just want to watch, like, that streamer or if they want to, like, check in on the actual stream matches and get updates in between. That's, like, my vision for online tournaments at the moment. It's very similar to what I'm doing now where I just, like, screen share. But I don't know. I honestly don't know the viability of that because people just really do not like uh, Smash Wi-Fi. And I blame myself a little bit for this, for making Smash Offline just so good around here. Because the socializing was done there, and everyone was already tied to the results and the PR and the way things worked to where now it's just like, oh, this is just a tournament with no way to it, and I have to deal with laggy Wi-Fi? What's the reward? And the answer is I don't have a reward for you. <laughs> Other than the fact that you'll be hanging with the boys and hanging with me and, and helping the channel to not die. Because that, that, that's where I'm looking, man. The channel is looking really nice, and then... You know, everyone got hit, so everyone's channels are kind of struggling. Well, not everyone. Some people have figured out the formula, but I'm going to figure it out, too. I rely on my own personality, which, uh, sorry for us all on that. But anyways, do want to thank all you guys who are hanging out. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Sinatra, please. It's a PG stream. It's not a PG stream, but anyways. Um... Well, this match was queued up to start. Who's that? I'm trying to think what else I could do in the meantime that's, like, fun. Like, I, I, we could do anything, you know what I mean? Like, I have screen share, I have me, I have chat. Just us hanging, all intimate and stuff. Um, yeah, dude, no, I saw VGBC streaming uh, all their old Smash stuff, and it's nice to be able to do that. Uh, I, just, I, I just don't have that capability of, like, past streams where I could do it. <laughs> hey, hey I I didn't know this was an after dark stream too, but we got we got foul language on the screen share, so I guess that's that's how it goes. Um, honestly, guys, I don't know what's good with this losers finals, but we're on the home stretch here, and I would love it if they played. I would love it. 
Uh, I could play Luigi. That's their video. That's a pretty easy one. That was an easy. That was an easy request. This was like so epic a few years ago when this game was like new. Well, actually, not even this game. It was when, it was when freaking the first Mario Kart 8 that wasn't deluxe was new. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, he's he's dude. He's does not like these other racers. He's like, I'm gonna win this race in the Luigi's cart and stuff. Look at him go, man. Yep, let's turn my head back. Man, yeah, remember when the Wii U was new? I barely do. Alright, so I want to think that these guys are, like, starting soon, but I don't have any answers. If any of you guys are watching... Yeah, dude, 2014. That was, like, a whole other lifetime for me. That was six years ago. That's like what? That's like three years before Master Hand even existed. Is it? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm. St I'm. St no. Right? Sorry, my brain. If you see steam coming. Oh, they. Okay, so they have to report their match, and they're not reporting their match. Um, I wish. I wish I could. So once the match is reported, we'll move on to losers finals. Um, until then, we're just going to look at this bracket for a little while longer. That's what we're going to do. Dude, Nyan Cat from 2010, that was back, like, when Reddit was really cool and people were, like, looking at, like, advice animals and funny memes, haha. -ha. That was a totally different time, man. That was, like, uh, that was pre-other stuff. That was, uh, yeah, <laughs> it was pre-other stuff, that, uh, as I eloquently put. Um, it is kind of hard to believe. Well, it's it's technically a different decade, I guess. Um, just just barely a couple months worth of another decade, but yeah, man, Nyan Cat, that was a, that was a big deal. Oh, yeah, that's when I was looking up the Switzerland flag to make sure I wasn't totally uh, inept with naming. Okay, yeah, so. This is the original. Gum go. This is how you man, it's a cat fused with like a pop tart and that just translates to really uh, something. Yep, that's it. This is this is the video. This is This is what people were doing. What year was... I know Club Penguin was a really long time ago. When was Club Penguin? Yeah, yeah okay. So, old internet. I don't know if you guys... This is this is, a, this is a good activity you could do while we wait. You guys remember Homestar Runner? Probably not. Homestar Runner was legendary. Let me just tell you about Homestar Runner. Um, hold on. I'm going to play Coach Z. All right. So, basically... Uh, is this the... I don't need the Coach Z rap. That's what you guys want to see. Yeah, so Homestar Runner is, is really good um, for anyone unaware. Let me mute Mario music for a minute. This is the music we should be playing. Coach Z, Coach Z, one, two, one, two. So this, this is something, uh, if you talk to Gons, Greek Gonzalez, <laughs> he was a big fan of this too. This is definitely old internet, man. This is when Flash was like reign supreme and was used for everything, like games and just like all this stuff. You guys don't realize how legendary this is. They don't even make these anymore because they like eliminated Flash as like a means of. Where my lasers at? Y'all. Where my lasers at? Where my lasers at? Where my lasers at? Y'all. Where my lasers at? All the people.
people tried to tell me where my lasers at and your mother tried to show me all the laser crap. Yeah, I keep forgetting how much older I am than like the, the, the average person that probably watches the stream or interacts with the, the things on Master Hand because it's 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 this, this is like what I grew up with, you know what I mean? And then I think about like how much older I am, and then like you guys were, yeah, probably toddler age. And that's really weird for me to think about. All right, let me find you like more traditional Homestar Runner. No matter how good Coach Z's rap is. Um, oh, dude, all right, I got one. There's a whole thing. They were just short cartoons, and then they did like stuff like that music video. So this is one of the short cartoons. This is strike code so with cool a lot of people. I thought you would enjoy it. Ding dong, dear strong man. What would you look like as a Japanese cartoon? And what would it be about? James? Japanese cartoon, eh, James? I saw one of them once. Let's see what I can remember. Okay, so first of all, my head would have to be a little bean with real, real big eyes. Get rid of my thumbs, make me all shiny. My boots would be a whole lot cooler, like robot boots. And for some reason, I got blue hair. You gotta have blue hair. Then there's my mouth. Real tiny when it's closed, ridiculously huge when it's open. Then you basically just put me in space and make me fly around in cool poses. <laughs> Yeah, see, this is how you make an anime, dude. This is like. They probably have somebody else do their voices. Hey, Stinko Man. Everybody says you're the guy, but I want to be the guy too. No way. You're just a kid. Maybe when you're older. <laughs> Pan Pan is fat. <laughs> He fell on you! <laughs> He's a good bear. This is good this is good media. Look how good this is. Japanese cartoons are <clears throat> Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Japanese cartoons are weird, man. Though I may be onto something with that blue hair. Looks pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. Gons, what are other good home start or what are other good strong bad emails? Because like there was like a whole series of just like uh, I guess the dragon one's not bad. It was just a series of him just answering emails from like fans. It was like one of the things on on home star runner. All right, we'll find virus. Hey, strong bad. Can you draw a dragon? I got the email. You got the email. I got the email. You got the email. Earth plus. Why 76P? All you ate. Uh, what is this? Did the quadratic formula explode? I see a strong bar in there, but it's getting eaten by some Linux or something. Wait a minute. Is this one of those virus emails? Like the kind that moms in offshore casinos send you? I'll take care of this. What? I said delete it. No, oh, wise guy, eh? Maybe I should introduce you to my main man, Edgar. All right, Edgar. Now drop a train on him. Ah, that is not a small number. That is a big number. What am I gonna do? Good luck with your exam, You're Haven. Over. Thanks for chilling. Virus equals very yes. That's not a good prize. Oh, and You're also hate, by the way. Thank just you. peed my carpet. Strong bad, what is going on? <laughs> I don't know. You forgot to wear your neck? Have you been using the internet irresponsibly? No more irresponsibly than usual. Did you get a virus? Uh no. Did you get 400,000 viruses? Yes. Very yes. Well, hurry up and do something about it before it gets worse. The cheat! What the? Whoa! It's cold out here. Huh? Hey! Never feel a strong bad. 
I know how to fix your computer box. No, no, don't touch that. Your super box needs wards. <laughs> like these right here. Uh, what are you know watching? Stop. Strong bad dude. I don't know what's going on with this bracket. Although I do enjoy strong bad emails. That's a tough thing now. Did you watch Homestar Runner when you were younger? Strong man. That's the best stack of VHS tapes that I've ever seen. Alright, cool. So they are about to start. I can't spell you. A little to the left. Good, good. <laughs> Poop Smith? I can do it! I can do oh, it! Oh, I've never seen this guy around. I never saw the video oh, stuff. Yeah, dude, Homestar Runner was legendary. <laughs> I should have done this like a million years ago! With Marcy Pence Radish, we're gonna win the competition! Hey, he Where did Glenn go? Uh, he said he was going to manage the bracket, but then he left and then this happened. <laughs> so I, don't, I don't know what this being meant is. <laughs> It is pretty funny. How did you get rid of the bat? Wait, why do you have a shotgun? What did you do? Where's my copy? It's in a better place, strong bad. Rather, it's in the same place, but now it's got a big hole through it. You murderer! You killed my brother! You might uh, be a computer! Alright, I think they're about to... They said they're about to start, but it looks like they're still picking stuff. From what I can see. You don't understand. You all understand. I mean, don't understand. Ah! Hey, Bugs, can I have my leg back now? Dear Strongman, I don't know the crap fully yours. I, I don't know the crap fully yours. Anyways, uh, lesson is that Flash was a very powerful tool back in the day, so. Now it doesn't even exist, so how about that? Anyways. These guys tell me they're about to start, and I think that they are. So we're gonna see. Oh wait, let me put on. Let me put on the tunes again. There we go. And so it does look like they're getting set up, and. Hold up. Biddy, you're in... Oh, Biddy left the call. Well then. Alright, so we do have a couple different perspectives of this one. And currently what we're going to be seeing is I'm going to leave the awesome Michael up and I'm going to leave Lemon Tea up because... Uh, they are on opposite teams, and this is Losers Finals. What I'm probably going to do for next time is, now that I know how this works, although I'm not sure if this is going to be the same format this week as it's going to be next week because of all the, the weird DQ things that happen. Anyways, uh, I don't know if it's going to be the same format, but if it is, and even if it's not, I'm going to add basically where it tells you in the round it is because it does start with us seeing all the different perspectives from the whole tournament, but then when it does boil down to something like a winner's finals, a loser's finals, or grands or whatever, I could at least uh, I could at least like let you guys know that without having to just like tell you. Anyways, this will be fun. So Lemon T, Mesa, and Boosk squaring off against the awesome Michael Bowser, spelt with an 8, and I will get that other name in a moment. Uh, Sky the King is, is the other person. Or, I'm sorry, Sky the Kid. Excuse me. Alrighty. Here we go. The Losers Finals starting up on Bowser's Castle. Which is a pretty good map, uh, in my opinion. Alright. And we're off. Uh, again, the loser's final, so winner will go on to play against uh, Biddy, Steven, and Wishes. Waiting on the winner's side of Grand Finals, but in the meanwhile, uh, we're seeing the awesome Michael pretty good first place at the moment um and this is what i was saying before the last circuit i've been, I've been kind of singing 
uh, Michael's praises all day. One, because he is awesome, and two, because he has consistently been a first place uh, racer in most of these races that I've had him on for, uh, except for the last set, which he was playing against what I can only believe is one or two pro Mario Kart people with, with a pal in there. In the meanwhile, he did lose first place to, uh, I believe one of those is his teammates, because I see it's a Waluigi. Um, and I know that Lemon T is playing Toad. Um, I believe Mesa, Pink Gold Peach, at least that's who he was playing, and Boosk should be Villager. And I can actually check in on Boosk because we do have his stream available. So let me try and find that for you guys. There we go. So there's Boosk, uh, currently sitting in third place, right behind the Awesome Michael. Uh, first place, someone on Awesome Michael's team. I'm not sure which other one is using Waluigi. Um, I'm just pretty confident that it is not Mesa. So right now they're looking like the current leaders, although this is a set that is just starting. Last lap of the first race. We'll see how it shakes out does seem to be close though because we've seen some fluctuating placings outside of that Waluigi in first place who has been holding it down and is pretty far ahead at this point. Alright, so let me go ahead and check in on Lemon Tea. Got a fifth place placing, and keep in mind these streams are a little bit behind one another because it just depends on the streamer stream. That's what we're going off of, and it does look like teammate Boosk did finish in third. Uh, the awesome Michael, I did miss it. It looks like I don't know. Hard, hard to sometimes keep up with the point totals here, but it was only race number one, so you know, plenty more to come of that. So we'll see what race we get here. And for anyone just tuning in or curious what's going on, this is uh, the Glintendo Circuit team races today. Uh, team races every single Tuesday. Format still sort of being figured out. And then uh, there is the regular tournament, which is uh, just the, the regular old circuit, uh, which is just like, you know, every man, uh, excuse me, every man for themselves. And that is every Sunday. And anyone can join any of these. And uh, what's that, Milagros? Honestly, I'm having a lot of fun with these. Uh, it would be cooler if there were more people streaming. But fortunately, the way today shook out, uh, a lot of people who are in the later part of bracket here do have streams because we have two-thirds of Boosk's team now, uh, including he and Lemon T. And then on the other side, we have the awesome Michael, who was someone that I'm actually just meeting today and linked me his stream in a, the comments of the tweet asking people to stream. So thankful for him streaming. Also thankful for him playing so well because it does provide us a couple of perspectives here because I just want to remind people, if no one was streaming, I wouldn't be able to show you anything. These are all uh, screen shares from the streamers themselves. You see their links right above the box there. So if you appreciate their gameplay or just want to support a little bit, make sure you uh, check them out. Yeah, I, I think that's the tricky part is figuring out the the stream stuff. Um, but it's a good opportunity for you guys to just like kind of get your stream set up. Even if it's just literally your gameplay, um, it's a big help for this. It doesn't have to be like a, a super polished stream. As you can see, like the awesome Michael has his overlay there. And Boosks is very minimalist. It just has like a bar along the bottom and the salty logo up top. And I think Biddy's stream is literally just the game. And that's, and that's more than fine. It's more of a device to make this work because Mario Kart does not have a spectator mode. Um, well, yeah, if you figure it out, man, I mean, this is going to be the format, and I'm doing the same format for the single stuff, but that's just following person to person. I'm still figuring out the best way to, like, get everyone in there and, and make, like, the best of, like, multiple people racing like show the most but uh wow dude boost with the strat staying on the grass that whole time because he had the gold mushroom and then now a star but he is pretty far behind 
Meanwhile, uh, looks like this race has already been over for Awesome Michael. He got third. And let me see if I could get a little bit of a closer look at what some scores are. So, starting this race, uh, we're going to go back to Lemon T's cam. Uh, he's a little bit ahead of Boosk. Uh, I guess I'll get his stream rendering. And the guy's taken to the jungle here, which is another race we've seen a little bit of today. Uh, we've seen a bit of this. And this is race number three for these guys, so we're getting very close to when we're going to know what's actually happening. And I'll try and be on top of getting a bigger view of the current point totals now and see if we can kind of get a good sense of who's in the lead and who's not. But this does seem like uh, both these teams have like their strong players on it. Um, and I've explained earlier, like, Lemon T, I don't know like how new he is to like playing Mario Kart or whatever, but I know that like he's been doing pretty well, a little volatile at that. Uh, Boosk, pretty consistent. Uh, consistently good, that is. Uh, the awesome Michael. My man's putting in work today. He is putting in work. The team in Grands is pretty strong overall. Uh, Biddy being one of those players. Very solid holding it down pretty much all the time. And then um, Steven, who's been winning almost everything. Unfortunately, not streaming. But, uh, yeah, he's been winning, like, pretty much all the races he's been in. But back to his current race, Lemon T, you can see in second place, um, only behind that Waluigi, who I'm still not sure who it is. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's, uh, uh, what's it called? If it's, it's definitely one of, uh, the awesome Michael's teammates. I'm just not sure if it is Bowser16 or Sky the Kid. Regardless, uh, he appears to be holding it down this entire circuit, so, or I'm sorry, this entire set so far. It does look like Lemon T and Boosk in second and third place, uh, respectively now. Really looking to catch up to this Waluigi, who is to be determined. I'd really curious to know which, which racer that is, so I can give him the proper uh, shout-outs. Okay, and that is, that is Bowser16 currently who's been kind of running running the show here. Getting the last shortcut there on lap number three. And I do believe he did win. Uh, Lemon T coming first. Yes, so. Oh, no, no. Bowser16 actually got fourth in that race, but he is second point total overall. So I believe it is Sky the Kid who is a Waluigi who has been kind of dominant in this whole series we've been watching. And with one race left, um, the points looked like a mishmash, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not sure who's, like, kind of the lead, and, and I'm not entirely sure. But we're going to know after this game. Um, Alrighty, yep, so this is the final race. Looks like the first three seeds are Sky the Kid, Boosk, and Lemon T. One, two, and three. And taking it the Rainbow Road. I believe this is the new Rainbow Road. So this is one of those ones that has... I think there's like a pretty big shortcut on this map, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, or I might be mistaken. Or is this not Rainbow Road? Now I'm confused. I kind of forget some of these maps. This is not Rainbow Road. Here it is. It's not. It is. It's not. It's got to be. I think this is the new Rainbow Road. Uh, yeah, there we go. And there's the shortcut. This is definitely it. Yeah, because this is this is like Mario 8. Yeah, this is definitely the Mario 8, Mario Kart 8 uh, Rainbow Road. One, because there's a ton of shortcuts, which you don't see in some of the older ones, at least not the one from 64, which is also in this game. But, like, you see it's all, like, anti-gravity-ified. 
which is like the whole new component that they added in this game was the fact that you have like a hover hovering cart. And it also looks like a big figure eight. And I remember, and, and you're seeing it now, we're seeing uh, Lemon T struggle just a little bit here. This this is a pretty difficult course. Um, this part changes up in terms of like which tracks make you go uh, fast or slow. Um, there are the shortcuts, which is kind of frustrating if you're just someone who's like uh, figuring the game out. All right, so here we go. Go in the boost now, who's in fourth. But, uh, you know, and then there's tons of places where you could just kind of like fall off, which is like everybody's nightmare. And it's like literally this entire map. I, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this Rainbow Road. It's, it's kind of hell, especially like you pump it up 200 cc's where you got to get used to using the brakes. Whew. Anyways, final lap here for these guys. And then this is actually set. Um, so we'll see who's got it in them. We'll see. Oh, man, Lemon T really struggling, man. I don't have him on screen. He's currently sitting in sixth. And this is, this is like, the bane, dude. This is the ultimate last race to have that just sucks because there's, there's so many ways in which it can go wrong. Like, there's a lot more ways for it to go wrong than for it to go right, aside from, I guess, nailing some shortcuts. But All right, so let's see the awesome Michael currently, uh, yeah, ended up winning. Or, I'm sorry, getting second. Lemon T laughing off the sixth place. All right, so I'm going to guess that the Austin Michaels team is uh, looking like they kind of swept. I believe that was them in the top three point total. So, yeah, it looks like the the Austin Michaels squad will be taking on Biddy, Steven, and Wishes in Grands. A valiant effort for the guys, and I definitely want to give shout out to uh, – you know, Lemon T, Boosk, um, you know, everyone who's been streaming. Uh, it's, it's really cool. I, I appreciate you guys doing it. it. It allows us to have a stream here um, as I try and get myself situated here so I can give you guys proper shouts. All right, so, yeah, there we go. Those are the streams you were watching, the bulk of them today. So Lemon T Legacy, Boosk Mobile, make sure you go and give those guys channels a follow if you enjoyed their stuff. Uh, I definitely appreciate them streaming made for a fun day so far all right so oh, i didn't realize the french team is who dq'd there's apparently a couple teams from france anyways so here we are grand finals um we're looking to be um the two feeds that we have are going to be the bidmans and um Bidman and the awesome Michael is who we're going to get to watch here. So we'll have that to look forward to. As um, I get all set up here. These are these are the screens we're looking at. And once again, I'm uh, just going to throw this on the screen here. This is every single Tuesday we got team races. Um, I probably should have the Discord linked, but I don't. Glenn has a nice little Discord there. People who are playing this game nightly. Excuse me, daily rather. And that's a lot of the people who are entered in this bracket. So be sure to check that out every single Sunday. Additionally, uh, there is the singles bracket. Just ignore that tournament, uh, excuse me, that tournament code. That code's going to change with the new one. And that will be uh, on Sunday. Every single Sunday. And you don't need a team for that. Uh, you don't even need to show up exactly on time for that. Although I do understand that the the, uh, the what's it called is changing. The um, the format is changing because right now it's like it's from seven to ten and you get your races at any time. But people who show up late get the benefit of playing against bots. So that that's what they're eliminating. Uh, all right, let me just get this bracket up on the screen for you guys. So you could look at what I'm looking at. All right. So here we are. In grand finals. Uh, this match did conclude, and I do believe that uh, the awesome Michael does move on. And I just want to say good games to Team Lemon Team, Mesa, and Boosk. Definitely appreciate you guys.
Yeah, that's true, Nintunas. Apparently, you can play with Auto Accelerate now. Um, that was originally a banned rule, but to be honest with you, I don't. I, I I think it's fine. Like, it's just one less finger active. I also think Auto Steering's on too, which I don't think is a big deal either, because if you're really good at this game, like, you're probably not using Auto Steer because you need to take the shortcuts. Um, <laughs> of course, that's a James rule. He's got crippled hands. Alrighty, so we're gonna see what happens. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing that we're waiting for the Grand Finals crew to be reporting. And also, I'm just remembering, uh, also on the right side, not only do we have Biddy, we have... Uh, we have... Um, geez, Wishes. I keep wanting to call him Cubal because that's how he entered the bracket, but we do have Wishes. Who is currently waiting in lobby like 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 a good uh, entrant would? Just in there, ready to go. Also, Michael, ready to go. I do believe we are missing Biddy from like. Okay, it looks like Biddy's stream is now active, doing something or other. And I'll kick it to the screen so you guys kind of just see where everybody's at. Um, oh, I just realized I still got... That is not Cubal on the top right. Cubal. Whoa. Will be, though. Okay, mm there we go. Alright, so these guys are getting ready here. It does look like everybody is present for present and accounted for. Meanwhile, um, it does look like the bracket has officially moved on, which is good. Um, you know what? I'm going to find the DNA advertisement, so that way I could try and direct more people there. Because online smash uh, doesn't have to be all try hard and stuff. It's still a good time. Uh, you still come out, it'll be a lot like this. And I probably will be if people start streaming their Smash Brackets for like something like a DNA. I'll probably be very similar to what I'm doing right now. Whereas I'll just like kind of have them available for screen share. And we can kind of see other stuff in between sets. Because sometimes setting up the online lobbies does take a few minutes. Alright, so those look like Biddy's booting up. Wishes already. Awesome Michael looks mostly ready. Lemon Tea just kind of chilling along for the ride. Alright, there we go. Got some character selects. Alright, so yeah, it looks like we got two of six people waiting. Third of the way there. And I'll find better ways to uh, kind of make this middle time a little better. I was a little unprepared for that in terms of like actually entertaining people. I'll figure something out. Alright, looks like the room is starting to fill in a little bit. I now see it is halfway full. There we go. That's four people. Waiting on two more. Alright, so I'm starting to see the meta forming up for uh, both Wishes and Diddy taking the same DK plus buggy or Biddy cart or whatever it's called. What was it, Biddy buggy? I think that's the name of the cart. 
All right, nice. Looks like the room is finally filled up. So we will be waiting for these guys to start. Should be any moment now. Um, in the meanwhile, we'll just check out one screen. Wish is getting himself mentally prepared. Team Steven. Steven 19. All right, cool. Looks like we're starting again with the stage selections. At long last, the moment you guys have all been waiting for. I'll get you a view from each side here. Uh, on the right, I probably will switch between Wishes and Biddy since they're on the same team and leave the awesome Michael on the left there since he is also All right, and we're off. Getting started here. Got the DJ, DKs touching each other here. So I don't know if all of Wish's team uh, slash Biddy's team, or if they're all using DK or if it's just he and Biddy. Um, either case... I do believe that is a meta pick, man. You gotta pick the heavies in this game because less chance to get knocked off of things. All right, looks like Wish is making some moves. Finds himself from sixth place to third place, uh, and surging very, very close to second here. Yeah, so Heavy Bitty Bug, Roller Wheels, best cart in the game. Uh, Shouts to Natunas for the info. And I'm not so really surprised to hear that, man. I mean, Heavies, in the, like, they used to kind of just be a little... Well, they always run fast. But uh, in this game, it just relies on so much as bumping into each other. Where And there's so many maps where you just fall off where it just is, is a very favorable trait to be Heavy. Like, if you're one of the babies or, like, one of the smaller characters, you're getting knocked off the, the track, like most of the time like the acceleration isn't as important it would seem because that, that's like the big benefit of being a light body is you get to accelerate a lot faster but your top speeds are, are usually pretty good as heavies all right so also michael holding it down at a consistent third place with biddy right behind though does just get hit by a shell and passed by his own teammate uh, wishes does take fourth place. Finishes in fourth place, and it does look as if. Um, let's see. Yeah, so so far the team coming from losers, sweeping so far, um, taking places one, two, and three. We might have ourselves a bracket reset, guys. We'll see what happens. I mean, that was only race number one, so, you know, it's still pretty young, but that, that's a pretty big point sway in the way of uh, loser side here. Alrighty, so second race. Let's see if... Uh, Team Steven Biddy uh, wishes is able to kind of swing the momentum back in their favor, at least keep things even. Um, all three of them are going to need to do something because all three of them are on the bottom three of the results. Uh, a little bit of a miss on the mushroom from, from Wishes, who does still remain in fourth place. Getting hit by that red shell and passed by the awesome Michael. 
but not without a fight. Having a little bit of trouble with the moles' his wishes, but still t getting through the shortcuts. Um, meanwhile, uh, we got Biddy currently sitting in third place. Very much behind, I don't know if that's Steven in second place, and then the Waluigi who I believe, I'm not sure, I think it was Sky the Kid, if I remember correctly. But Biddy does appear to be, you know, he's holding it down pretty well. Those places one and two are just so far ahead. Um, as we have the second half of the race here, looking at Wishes and Biddy and fifth and sixth. And Awesome Michael now in sixth place, getting hit very costly at exactly the wrong moment. And this might be doable if, uh, you know, Awesome Michael takes sixth and Wishes continues to surge as he's in fourth place. Um, you know, it, that, that, that might be enough to kind of sway the points, but it does look like the Awesome Michaels team does take first already. All right, let's check out these point totals. Looks like Biddy got a little bit lost in the sauce here at sixth place, unfortunately, but in fifth place was one of the boys on the other team. So let's see how it shakes out. Yeah, it looks like loser side still very much in control here with the bulk load of the points, total 24 between first and second. All right, we are getting a character switch. Diddy going with Yoshi, maybe not as comfortable with the heavies. And we're off. We got uh, the Bowser Jr. I, I think... Or was, no, he's been using Bowser Jr. I'm sorry. The, the, the new character is uh, Biddy's Yoshi, who's currently bringing up the rear at the moment. But no, don't sleep on Biddy. Biddy is uh, quite the competitor, especially something like Mario Kart. Meanwhile, uh, Wish is really surging here. Sitting in second place, uh, still behind that Waluigi. With uh, teammate Steven just ahead of him. Coconut Mall, man. Definitely one of the better Mario Kart. Uh, definitely one of the better... Uh, or no, this isn't the mall. This is the airport. The insides always reminds me of Coconut Mall. But anyways, this I actually really like this stage too. Um, I know I've, I've heard people say they don't like it, but I don't know. I think it's a really good stage. Damn, the whole, like, between second and fourth place has been so volatile, all of these races so far. Um, but, dude, Winterside team definitely, they, they need to, like... Kind of kick it in the gear. That was not meant to be a pun, but okay. So the race for second is very real. Uh, I don't know if you guys could see on the mini map there, but uh, that Waluigi man, I believe it's Sky the Kid, way ahead. Uh, he is way ahead. I'm going to go ahead and assume that he just grinds this game pretty good because um, he's got the strats, dude. All, all the maps, he's, he's, he's far ahead. And so far behind where even in second place, uh, Biddy still gets a star power up, which you don't usually see in second place, but uh, with the lead, I guess that's how the game generates it, I'm guessing. All right, so no, no power slides. Biddy just going to be content to take that second place, get some team or get some points on the board there, um, and still kind of... Dominant is uh, Sky the Kid and Bowser at the top. And that's race number three. I don't think there's really a way, even if they were to take places one, two, three, that, um, you know, Biddy and company can really 
turn this first part of bracket around, but you know, since this is a double elimination bracket, we're gonna see a whole nother circuit to, to essentially see who wins for reals. But right now, it would suggest a team from loser's side who played all the way from loser's round two after being accidentally DQ'd to the top of this grand finals and in and, and dominant fashion. Featuring the awesome Michael on the left there. So that's kind of hype. Uh, these guys are obviously very good. This is another really good map, and it's just because it's very open to, like, player choice in terms of, like, options to do it. There's a lot of jumps, there's a lot of, like, opportunities with the way the, the, the water pipes drain. Also gained you some speed. Sky the Kids still pretty far ahead here. Not the furthest elite he's ever had, but he's definitely in a definitive first, assuming that's him. Alright, so currently we're seeing uh, Wishes battle it out with teammate Biddy for, for fifth place as Biddy does end up edging him out for that, for that, um, oops, wrong one. There we go. It's currently where Biddy's at. Does look like the awesome Michael on the final lap is hanging out at second place with a teammate ahead of him. So they're big chilling. Meanwhile, uh, winter side team trying to figure out what to do against these guys. Uh, kind of getting mollywopped a little bit, if you will. Yeah, the awesome Michaels team is <laughs> bringing it up from losers round two, uh, only to just steal the stage in grand finals. Oh man, getting hit at a very bad time is wishes, but still ends up uh, getting fourth. All right, so let's see what that looks like for these guys. Um, all right, so Biddy gets a second place, um, breaking up at least the the point totals at the top. Um, it does appear though that. This is going to be a reset. And... Yeah, kind of a late, late surge there for them. Uh, Steven, who's been kind of like the... I guess like the, the point leader? Uh, for, for this team? Underperforming in Grand Finals, unfortunately. Because I think if he held it down, it was pretty doable. Um, because it looked like both Wishes and Biddy kind of brought it back towards the end. Yeah, Steven is usually first place finisher, man. He, uh, a little bit of a rough outing that time. I'm not sure what happened with him. Might be, it might be the, uh, the, the, the tournament fatigue setting in. And so, okay, so confirm that these guys are, like, competitive Mario Kart players. Who did lose their first round in DQ fashion just because of some SGG stuff, but... Or no, their second round, apparently. How about that? So yeah, it'll be interesting. Um, I, if I had, if I was a betting man, and I had to guess, I'd say that uh, they kind of have it wrapped up. But there was some late game surging there. Uh, Biddy definitely refusing to say die, as is uh, wishes. But looking for signs of life from Steven. Are you up? Are you awake? You know, see where we end up. But here we go, Grand Final Reset, featuring the same boys we've been watching.
All right, first race, grand final reset. Back to the airport. All right, so more of the usual for these guys. Uh, it does look like uh, middle of the pack, kind of fighting themselves, is uh, the once winner side team of Steven Wishes and Biddy um, against the very dominant Waluigi team so far in what possibly are uh, professional Mario Kart players. Shout out to that. Um, let's see, Biddy currently sitting in fourth place. Making the run, trying to find himself just a little bit closer between the disparity of that top end of the race and himself. Ooh, nailing the shortcut there, which is getting a little bit of ground. Unfortunately, just gets hit right before the ramp, but also fortunate that he was right on the ramp, so didn't lose too much time. Um, was kind of surging there. Let's see where I can find him. Meanwhile, uh, Biddy finds himself at sixth place. Not too far behind Wishes, who now gets a fourth place finish with the bullet bill. Um... All right, Biddy did find himself a fifth place, just surpassing Steven. I hate to see it. All right, so there we go. Uh, you have also Michael, Bowser, and Sky the Kid, or the Kid Sky, whatever it is. Um, I got to get that right, man. I don't know why I keep forgetting this name. But anyways, taking places one, two, and three again. It is Sky the Kid. All right, I have it. All right, second race as we draw ever closer to a conclusion of Glentendo Circuit Teams 3v3. I believe this is the second iteration of this, too. I'm not positive. Anyways, here we go, and we're off. Oof, rough start for Wishes there. On the other end of things, also Michael doing his usual thing there, sitting in second place behind a fellow teammate. Damn, dude, these Waluigi's definitely put on a clinic. Steven, or I'm sorry, Officer Michael, putting in the work today. Uh, falling off the side there is is wishes. Um, let me see if we get a quick camera on Biddy here because he is doing pretty well. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to curse him there, but he is in third place. And there we have it. So looking at second and third place here. Biddy fighting is fighting for his life here, uh, trying to make it happen. 
bust up this uh, the top three that is currently being dominated by the other team. All right, so that's the third place from Biddy. Um, not bad, man. At least kind of breaking it up just a little bit, but not enough to really make a huge dent in the scores. Um, kind of looking like a um, team coming from loser side is probably uh, looking like the likely winners here. They are places one through three. Uh, Steven sitting on the bottom there, not a whole lot. To really contribute, unfortunately, which is a shame, man, because I feel like the rest of the tournament he was like taking first and this, that, the other thing. But it happens, man. This go through your hots and your colds. Alrighty, third race. Let's see if we get any kind of uh, fight back from from the boys that we usually know from the stream. Meanwhile, let's go pro Mario Kart players. Cheap Cheap Beach is another interesting map. I think uh, it's kind of like a, an old favorite. A little unconventional because you dip in and out of water a lot, but there are a lot of opportunities for like hops and little speed boosts. Oof, a little bit of a misstep from Biddy is going to cost him third place, dropping down all the way to sixth. Meanwhile, the awesome Michael sitting in second pretty comfortably uh, as he's been, uh, taking the shortcuts, just a straight dash through the underwater there, part of the beach. Um, as we see Biddy, a little bit of struggle bus in sixth place. How about we take a quick look at how... Uh, Wishes is doing. It does look like he's finding himself very close to fourth and third place. And really not that far out of it. Um, with Bowser 16 right in front of him. Looks like maybe trying to steal one of the mushrooms from Bowser 16's bike unsuccessfully. Oof, getting hit by a green shell coming right back at him. Which probably means uh, Biddy be up back in fifth place. All right, looks like uh, the gap getting just a little bit larger each time. Um, as those guys continue to dominate here and <laughs> loser side of grand finals. Um, I know they still have another race, but I'm pretty certain this is over by now. Um, I don't think there's a, a point total that can catch them up. But we are going to watch the last race out because that's what we're doing here. I do want to thank you guys for coming out and, and, and chilling, just watching. I know there's only a few of us, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, hoping to make this thing a little bit more, uh, you know... A little bit more active as we go along with more entrants and more streamers. But in the meanwhile, uh, you know, this is very much a trial run that I think is going okay. And so currently on your screen is the awesome Michael and Biddy. In this final race of Grand Finals Reset.
All right, pretty good race out of Biddy right now with first and second right in front of him. Uh, just as I say that, uh, getting tripped up a little bit and down the fifth looking to catch up. Meanwhile, uh, I wish is in sixth. Looking a little bit like a drunk driver at the moment. Probably checked out because he realized that the points totals just are not going to be able to add up in their favor, but that's okay. Uh, many props just finishing up the, the tournament here. No shame in second, you know. Anyways, as we continue to trudge along here, it does look like places one, two, and three occupied by the awesome Michael squad. Alright, Biddy does find himself in fourth place, just ahead of, uh, I think that third place of the awesome Michael. Alright, and this is the final lap, so we'll see where everybody finishes up here. Um... You know, Biddy Squad already pretty much out of it since neither of them. Yeah, that was that was a little bit of a wash. Uh, congratulations though to the awesome Michael and his team for basically bringing it up all the way from losers round two after getting DQ'd I think in their second winners match by some Smash GG hijinks and win the tournament. Big round of applause for those guys and, and big shout outs to them coming and joining and and supporting this. Brand new thing we're trying to get started on the channel. Uh, this is the Glintendo Circuit. Uh, team races today. This is every single Tuesday. And on Sundays are the uh, regular old Mario Kart tournaments. So just like, you know, you come, you enter, you put in a tournament code, and you get put in brackets and stuff. And that's every single Sunday. So if you guys liked what you saw here and... You know, imagine that it might have been better without some teams. Well, guess what? Every single Sunday it is. Uh, same exact format as we do right now. Uh, other than the fact that, um, you know, there's no teams. So make sure you check that out. The tournament code will be different this Sunday. Do not use this tournament code because it's from last week's. And that's pretty much where I'm going to leave you guys. Uh, there's really not much more to do here um tournament's over got no more content i don't know i don't know what to do uh so we will be back with smash on thursday got dna actually i could probably get that slide for you guys right now uh because why not uh let's see I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this in the way that is not all nice and pretty i'm just gonna full screen it right here where where's my slide there's my slide yeah so you want some smash events uh, there's a Smash channel after all, I guess. Um, actually, not for the Mario Kart channel at the moment, but this is it. Uh, this, this is this is the, the tournament. So this is basically looks a lot like this tournament does, just Smash. Um, I kind of run it pretty similarly with the. I would like to run it similarly with Screen Share, but I know not a lot of people stream their 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 online brackets. But you could, and I will share it if you do. Um, so if you do decide to enter this on Thursday, it is tri-state only. Um, and you are streaming, let me know, and I could actually feed your feed through here and try and get you some viewers in the meanwhile and all that fun stuff. So that's what we got. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. But otherwise, um, I'm going to close it off for the night because there's really not much else going on. So thank you guys for watching um, in this weird time of trying to figure out new content and things to do on the channel. Um, yeah, it's tricky. So uh, this is really the only real way I can do things. The Smash stuff, as, as you guys all know, is, is not the most attractive thing online. It's just sort of like no one wants to do it. But, you know, we'll find some new stuff. And I'll probably think of some more engaging things to do. I'll be honest with you. I'm thinking about just doing some Just Talk stuff. A lot more chat interaction. Uh, things like even just like staying in shape when you're self-quarantined. Because I've had to like shape up. Uh, change up my whole like uh, my whole routine really like I'm so used to going to the gym I can't even do that anymore um, 
Yeah, I don't know. So I'll find ways to do it. I probably am going to be looking to add more casters and commentators and personalities to this stuff. Uh, as soon as I can, and keep your eyes open for that, especially if you are a caster. I know I see a couple of you, like Ventunist. Also, thank you for, for saying nice. So, yeah, so anyways, I am going to be trying to open up some new content stuff. I'm fully expecting the channel to just, like, look like it's terrible for a little bit because trying new stuff isn't easy. Um, I built such a niche with Smash, and it was doing pretty well, uh, at least decently enough. Um, but, you know, I, I don't think... I don't think I was really meant to just stay there anyway, so it'll be an interesting time trying to figure out the best way to deliver good, fun, enjoyable content. But in the meanwhile, thank you for watching. Uh, there will be a Gloves Off episode heading to YouTube tomorrow night, I believe. I think we're recording tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Those have been a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to be trying to share those up. Uh, there's definitely going to be a big shakeup in the Master Hand Discord, uh, the one that's currently used for NJ Smash, because since the Tri-State Discord exists now, you don't really need the NJ Discord necessarily. Uh, it's still gonna stay with NJ Smash stuff, but there's gonna be a lot of other stuff that's gonna cater to like these tournaments and other tournaments that I'm trying to run. So, uh, again, thank you for watching. Definitely appreciate you guys, and see you Thursday. From DNA. <laughs>